welcome back to another stream. The first afternoon stream. So exciting. Yeah, for those who didn't hear last time when I forgot to announce it on the social media, is that Sunday streams are now switched to the afternoon, and then my weekday streams are starting an hour later. So, welcome to the new start time. Oh, as my game crashed. What crashed and why? Uh, let me just try restarting that. One second. It is, is it not one of my streams? If something doesn't go at least a little wrong, be at least a little scuffed. So yeah, I've been having a pretty chill weekend. It feels weird to be streaming in the afternoon because normally what I do is I work, well, I wake up at like 6, 6.30. I normally start working at like 7. Uh, and then I normally will work for most of the morning around this time is normally when I like stop take a break get some lunch into me maybe play some games of like League of Legends and then I'll do a couple more hours of work before stream uh so it feels very weird to already be streaming and having that just like a little reorganizing of my day all right no crashing this time please and fucking thank you I don't know, because it didn't look like anything in Smampy. Like, nothing looked wrong, looked off. Uh, but I did, I am trying out a couple new mods, and everything was running fine earlier. Game, I believe in you. Game. I also, like, made sure all my mods are updated. All that good stuff. Oh, we okay, we're good. Let me just go that. Yeah, noon stream. Noon stream, noon stream. From now on on Sundays. I just there was a lot of people I I've seen like both in like chats before, um, and in some comments over the last little bit, just a lot of people mentioning that like my my stream times just were not really working for the bulk of people uh so yeah i just looked at my schedule and saw how can i adjust my stream times to work better for folks so sunday streams are now just gonna be afternoon streams and on the the weekdays it's gonna be later later streams ah don't drink the mayo trying to do that I'm currently working out with Malphite. Nice! Been playing, been doing a lot of bots because been working on, uh, been playing like little token missions. Trying to get as many in the top 1%. It's been a fun little challenge that I've been doing with a couple people. And I'm playing a lot of all for one. Oh, let's go! Except in all for one, it's been mainly playing Thresh, if I'm gonna be honest. Thresh just dominates all for one so hard, even against really tanky champions. There's only been a couple that we've lost to. Uh, one was Cho'Gath. The, the Cho'Gath team kicked our butts pretty hard. Also, I'm very sad that did not get me to level 10 foraging. This is bullshit. <laughs> Please, I beg! Level 10 foraging! Look at that! That'll be my third one! Well, I just have to suffer in the mines. Ugh, oh, I'm basically- so yesterday- I basically spent all day yesterday just doing a convention prep. I normally don't do mock setups of my table because I normally have it in my head. It's kind of what I want to do. But since I have so many new display items and I've really rounded out my stuff I carry, I was like, fuck, I need to do a complete mock setup. So I got that done, packed everything up, made sure everything was labeled, fought for like four hours yesterday because I don't know why, but my black ink cartridge, if I'm not actively printing a shit ton of stuff, likes to clog up and then not print and then I got to clean it and run the cleaning setting. And it's a, it's a whole, whole thing. So that means I ended up fighting, I think, over like three, four hours with a freaking printer yesterday to print off 
all my nice little labels. But on the plus side, also what am I doing? What am I doing today? I have that. Oh, it's a night market today. So whatever I do, I can't use up my energy. I'm just foraging today. That's what I'm doing. What was I talking about? Uh, convention, yes. So, got everything packed away. And for the most part, everything's already made and done. I'm just trying to finish the last couple uh, statues. They're, they're really cool standing statues that I make. They just each take a couple days to make. So, I was hoping to get six done. It looks like I'll get five done. Which, you know, ain't too bad. I might be able to speak in if I can get it forged tonight. It will be fully cured and hardened and safe to sell like Thursday or Wednesday night. Because the market doesn't, I don't set up to like, I think it's 7 p.m. set up. Going to like 2 a.m. that morning is gonna, it's gonna suck. But, so I'm hoping, I'm hoping, I'm really, I'm really happy with how they've been coming out. I'm really proud of how they've been coming out. I've been using a lot of different techniques. Um, and doing a lot of experimentation, which has been coming out really nicely. Um, yeah, it's been fun. It's been fun experimenting. I normally, I keep, I often avoid my larger resin molds just because they take so much resin. So if I fuck up, that's a lot of money and time that just goes down the drain. And so I often also don't experiment with those pieces either. So I'm, I'm too scared. I'm worried. Uh, can you make any piece of violence? And make it happen. I can't. I don't think I can do either of these. Oh, you know, let's try to do Gunther's. I'll do Gunther's though. I'll, I won't do it during the night market because I want to just fish. All I want is fish, 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 no matter what, what, what. Hey, this, I'm so excited. I'm so excited for it to start. I don't think I'll do the mermaid thing this time around. I'll do it year two. I don't think I found the secret note that tells me the order. And I think I have, I think it's like one, three, five, four, two, or something like that. Hello, can I have some go go juice? I want go go juice now. I don't want to wait five hours. You know what, I have the energy thing with me. Oh no, I should actually go to Quint's and uh, bust open these geos first. Get them out of my inventory. But I have the time, I literally have hours before the night market starts. I just, I want to see if the any of the sellers have the three things I need. Remember, need a uh, truffle, need, what's my foot? Uh, truffle, rabbit's foot, and red cabbage. All right, give me stuff I don't have. I think that's a repeat. Yeah. That might be new. It is. Oh, that's a repeat. All right, one new thing. That's not too bad. I'm um, thinking, so I'm going to be setting up a new, like, recording farm. Uh, Dementi Museum. And setting up recording farms are fun. They're, like, I have a lot of fun doing them. Uh, I'm just wondering if there's any any interest in watching me set up a recording farm. If so, there might be some sporadic streams or just like an hour of me setting up the farm. I have the mermaid sink with if desired. Eh, it's fine. I'm not too concerned about it because it, well, it gives a pearl, which I'm not too concerned about missing out on a pearl money. Uh, yes, this is an uh, absolutely exquisite piece of art. I want your parrot. Is your parrot for sale? Look at the look at the <laughs> He's a little floaty. He's so cute. <laughs> Delightful. Because yeah, essentially with like setting up a recording farm, like, I spawn in everything I need. It's basically just, like, I don't even know how to explain it, but I personally find it really fun to just, uh, like, be able to, like, 
clear everything right away, have a fully functioning sit up farm, because then what's the funnest thing is going around all the little areas and decorating them. I probably spend way too much time decorating and perfecting each little area of the last recording farm. But with all the new items and the new updates, the recording farm isn't what I desire any longer, you know? And I think I have, if I look at my little book here while we wait for the market to open, me videos. Yeah, I have one starting video planned. I have the videos planned up until July has all its videos planned. August doesn't yet. I hope you like the videos coming out this month. I really like the the folded beasts. The that's the alien planet one that just came out recently. It was really fun. Uh, I really like. I haven't played sandbox mode for that game before, so it was fun to like. I think I fucked. I like was like, oh, I'll go to a certain area in the game. And I was like, oh, there's a sandbox mode. I think I fucked around for three hours before I finally decided what I was doing. Because there's a bunch of different critters and uh, plants in that that you can all put in and you can shape the landscape. You can change it from stone to sand and influence like water. And so I just did a bunch of messing around and I have a couple more videos in that plan. So I know there was requests a couple times mentioned for more like sci-fi, alien, not so much like realistic stuff. So I'm working, I'm working on like those videos. I'm not super confident with them. Um, and I'm not super great at finding the good, like layering lots of sounds for those ones yet. Um, but hopefully with more experience, those videos will like, and hopefully y'all like them. Good y'all have. Okay. Uh, anything I need, anything I need. My, although low key, how much is an apricot sapling normally? That's what I want to know. Apricot, sapling, stupid. Though it's cheaper than what it normally is, so I should just buy the apricot sapling. I got, I got the money. Alright, how much is regular price? I mean, if it's not cheaper, then I should just buy it from here. Support small local businesses, even in a small farming game. Oh, my computer's being a little slow. Alright, apricot sapling. Oh, wait, no, it's. Yeah. It's normally 2000, so I'm just gonna buy it from the yeah. Alright, nothing else I need. Disappointing. Over here. Ah, this is a. Oh, I really like that stone frog. Oh, that is a really pretty fountain. Alright, I'm gonna buy one of these. I want one? Do I want... Mm, maybe I'll buy two of these. Uh, I don't think I'm gonna get the gravestones. Although, I don't know. Like, I kind of... Mm. Nah. I'm just gonna get the... The two little stone frogs. I really like them. They're really cute. Alright, do you have anything? Do you have anything I want? Also see I like the seasonal decor. They're really pretty. Get two of each for this year to start decorating the farm. Don't like that one as much. Okay. Hello, I have come to give you lots of money so I can fish. All I desire is the fishy fishies. Take me down. Give me fish. Stay in. Be able to get more fish worth of fish cakes, or uh, rather, fish ponds. Don't really want to keep a blobfish. I don't see what else. Because it's the. Okay. It is the lava eel, the slime jack, the ice pip, and the void salmon, I think, are the color-changing ones. 
But if I remember, blobfish give you like a really good item, which is why I always get them. And I always forget what the item is until they give me it. I'm like, oh shit, that's the gift. <laughs> Let's see. I also can't wait to smoke all of them and get so much money. Unless I just keep catching seaweed. Please. Oh, I think that gives me lots of seaweed I need to build all that fun. To build all the fish ponds that I need. I will take a cucumber. No, apparently I only get seaweed. Spain. Oh, there we go. We got a spook fish. Da 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 da. All right, and another one. Okay, but what about that nice little squid there? Has many arms for lots of hugs. Hug the hook. Fuck. The weather here has been weird, y'all. So two days ago, out of nowhere, just dumped snow. It went from like plus 18 to dumping snow. And I mean, like, I think some places got like a good five, six inches. It was a lot. Then the next day, like, it starts melting. Then it snows, but also all the snow from that day and the previous day basically melt. Uh, and today it is very nice out. The weather is beautiful. So I'm really <laughs> I'm tired of the snow. Never thought, like, you know, I was saying, you know, we need this is what we need. We need the free thaw cycle for a lot of our native plants. Um, it kills off a lot of the invasive plants, which is really good. We need it for uh, helping prevent a lot of the droughts and forest fires we're definitely in for. Like, we have needed the wet and cold. Very much so. I just kind of wish that it was rain. Like, rainy, wet, and cold? I'm here for it. A cold, rainy spring? I'm here for it. It's a fact that it's snow. I don't want to see the white bullshit anymore. Just give me rain. Just give me a shit ton of rain. And I will be the happiest little bird. Also, I see the fated blobfish. I desire them. Come to me, my children. I'll put you in your new pond. Apparently only minute squids. Excited, tomorrow I go out of town and I pick up uh, cuttings to root into Saskatoon bushes. I have no idea how many I'm going to grab yet. We, we will see. <laughs> Cause I, I have to go over the plans again, but I don't think we need many. Then again, this is the plant I'm grabbing from is something like a 30, 40 plus year old Saskatoon bush that uh, is more, very much more tree like at this point. It is so fucking massive. So I could probably take like 40 cuttings from this tree. Wouldn't even notice. So yeah, doing that tomorrow and then also there's a library near me that has free seeds. Um, they also carry a lot of like native to the area seeds. So I'm going to swing by there and see if I can't get any more seeds checked off the list. Um, there's a lot more sprouting here at the house. A lot of herbs. I think all, all the herbs at this point have started sprouting. Um, a lot of the native plants have started sprouting. I only have one. I want more. Oh shit! I got distracted by gardening stuff and fishing. Yeah, but so grabbing the cuttings, grabbing the seeds, and then on Wednesday prepping the three garden beds. Hopefully gonna prep the fourth. It's gonna take a lot of work, but should have more people this Wednesday. Um definitely gonna have at least one more volunteer, possibly two or three, which will mean can guarantee to get the last garden bed finished, prepped, ready to go. When I get back on Monday, I'm going to be cutting the logs to size, grabbing the rest of like the small branches and debris. 
And then I will be... Oh, I passed all my small fruits. No, I have to put in some. Oh no, I'm gonna. I'm just gonna pop into bed. You know what? I don't have time. I don't have time to fuss around. It is 1 a.m. Love the dog. Okay. I think I'm gonna start bagging and bundling up and like whatever containers I can find to carry rocks out. Uh, to start carrying a bunch of rocks out. And then as the yeah, I guess as the what's my hood? What is a wood? I'm wood chip. As the wood chip pile starts to actually like thaw, uh, it will be to start taking out loads of wood chip every week and start getting that done. So like very very quickly, a lot of progress is going to be made. Keep ready to put that in the greenhouse. I also think the other pond was just built, so I should... Uh, one, two, three, four, five. There go, and then I also need... How many coal? I need one more in that stack, and then one, two, three, four, five, six. You're just staying there. Come on. We good? We good? We good? Everything's good. Okay. Do not eat the squid. No. And one more. Alright, getting stuff sorted, getting things done. Don't exactly know where I'm gonna put those decor yet. I think what I'm probably gonna do is just sort of like as I'm like, oh yeah, that would go nice there, I'll just put it down. Uh, you know what? I really should probably go buy a void egg from Krobus because I need a void mayo for like part of the witch quest. Just realize that. Damn, okay. Ah, <sighs> cannot simply wait for a free one. Alright, these in here. Are these right? Oh, yes. Broccoli. Alright, I should start replanting all of this. I should also, I think I'm also gonna do the like, put the battery in the thing, put the shell in the thing, put the beets in the mayor's fridge now that I have the beets. What do I wanna put down? I will put down, I'm not max foraging yet, so we're gonna do the fall seeds and I'll do some pumpkins and then we'll go from there. Oh, and I can fix these now. Fuck yeah. Do the one, and the two, and three. Do a little this. Oh, so much energy gone already. Oh, I also have shifted up. I should have eaten one of the foods that gives me fishing. That's what I should have done. Uh, I still have a lot of empty spaces. Why don't I start putting oh, the summer squash seeds? And, and. Oh, I forgot space. Bam. Uh, then I guess just the mixed seeds for the rest of the spots. Because eventually what this will all be is ancient fruit. As there's my two little cute seeds right there. But until, until then. Oh, I also need to make some seed makers. Just realize that. So many things, so many things to take care of. Okay, that goes up here. Oh, and I forgot to go to the fruit bats yesterday. Bam. Okay. So going back to the garden. Yeah, just have it's all of like stuff is finally moving, stuff is finally moving forward. So every week 
hopefully just get a good chunk of things done. What do y'all want? Three of those. But, ugh, like, I don't know what it is with this house, but plants don't like to stay alive, and I'm having issues with the seedlings. So, on the plus side, I have arranged for, like, a lot of plants to be transplanted and, like, backups. And I'm glad there's also other people growing seeds, and some of them are doing really well. Like, the dill's doing really well, the common sunflower is doing really well, the flea bane is doing really well. Uh... Oh, I guess there's only, like, two, now that I think about it. I'm like, why are you failing, you stupid little seeds? How dare you betray me this way? Uh, I need to do this. And I need to grab a stone. And I also need... Where do I have my batteries? Battery. And... Okay. So first. First. I also reached out to a couple more organizations to be like, hey, do you want to maybe like donate stuff to the gardens? <laughs> so we'll see if I get any response. I did also have an organization reach out to me and be like, hey, we want to help. What do y'all still need? I'm excited. I'm excited to keep posting. Like, I'm excited to show people that work's actually being done and progress is being made and that people really do care about the space. It's just... Like, it, there used to be eight raised garden beds and you can tell it was well, well maintained at one point and then it was like, it was just half dismantled and just abandoned and it's so sad. Because like, the garden beds they moved that they have dismantled haven't been used. They took, like, the big, uh, there's a big water bladder, or, like, water tank, whatever you want to call it, that they've moved way far away, and they just haven't been using it. And so I'm really hoping that this shows there are people who are care and are willing to take care of the space, and that it's worth the effort to put into it for the benefit of the community. And when I was there last week, like, there was more people expressing, like, interest in seeing, like, what happens. Not a lot of people stepping up to volunteer, unfortunately. But even just general community interest, you know, like, that's, that's better than nothing. Like, it would, it would absolutely suck if there was no interest in the early stages, no people being excited for it. Um, and at first people, you know, were skeptical that anything was going to happen, you know, they seemed like, oh, there was someone working out there, and there is stuff being done, uh, and they're, you know, they're seeing my face more often. Ooh. And I'm just hoping that with me going out there every week and being a presence and not shutting up about it and gaining a social media presence that, that will encourage people because I feel a lot of people try to start things on the reserve and then give up and walk away. I forgot to get my fucking pond. And then they give up and they walk away and people invest so much time and energy into these projects that they can abandon, that I understand why people are discouraged and really are really, really hesitant to donate, to help, to volunteer, to sort of put forward that energy and time until they start seeing results. Which I mean, is part of the problem is like a lot of things fail because there's not enough people. That's you know, sort of a self-feeding problem. I don't know, I'm just... I'm just feeling nothing but hopeful. I'm feeling nothing but optimistic. Even if I do have some like general anxieties. Because it is, it is a big project, it is a big undertaking. 
and we are a small crew right now. But again, like as soon as folks saw that, oh yeah, stuff was being done, an organization reached out, like lots of positive feedback. So I'm just going to keep my hopes high. Hope that I still haven't heard anything about the person who um, like apparently was sent away for school to like get a greenhouse up and running. Still haven't heard anything about that. So hopefully we'll soon. And because I, I really want, oh man, a greenhouse would be amazing. But, like I don't have the knowledge of how to build like a proper above ground greenhouse. I know how to do um, a partially sunk greenhouse for like year round gardening in uh, certain climates. Uh, and that's about it. I don't know how to do like a fully above ground greenhouse. I just don't have that knowledge. I don't have that construction ability. So I really, I'm really hoping we get connected. Oh yeah, I'm excited to be out in the garden again. It's still too wet at my place to start doing anything. Like there needs to be some backyard cleanup and some tidying up. Uh, and it's just it's so wet. So wet. I know I said, I want a wet, wet rainy summer or wet rainy spring. And like, yes, true. I still do. That's not a lie. Uh, but I would also just like like a solid week to allow the top layer of stuff to dry out. That's much more workable. Because like the backyard needs to be raked up. I let just the grass grow and did not, did not chippy chop it near the end of the season at all. And so like all the dead grass needs to be raked up. There was a couple of trees that like quickly sprouted and shot up right near the end of the season that also need to be chopped down. I think I'm just finishing or rather like filling in some things because you know we're moving and no way am I leaving all my super fancy expensive landscaping shit behind. And so some stuff just needs to be like filled in with some wood chips to make it more aesthetic so it doesn't look like a half-assed finished project. Give. Give me the fish. But yeah, Lali was here the other day. I think I mentioned she was briefly here. Um, and she had no, no comments about the state of like the outside. So... I'll take that as a win. Last couple times she's been a little nitpicky, lots of concerns sort of things. Which like, not even necessarily like concerns towards us, just like towards the property wondering what's going on because previous tenants created a lot of trash. And so trash built up like in the backyard in that. And of course we have a lot of magpies, like magpies nest all over here so the magpies are pretty open and shit. Um, and a lot of stuff got thrown into like the hallway piles or like haphazardly. And so last couple of times she was just like, oh, but that's, you know, it's looking like the backyard is like a junkyard. And I'm like, mm, just be fucking aware. Uh, but you know, now it's just been Adrian and I for a month ish. It's like, oh, look at all the garbage is caught up on. The recycling's actually going out. The backyard's being cleaned up. Oh amazing what happens when there's not like four adults oh damn four adults in a building and only two are helping take care of it you know look at what is that another pearl drifting my way give me the money but yeah it's like a month and a half till we move. But it's nice because it's like stuff picking up at the garden allows us to get, take care of a lot of stuff. Like the, the branches, the mulch and that. That she does want taken, like the line lady wants taken care of before we move. And I'm just hoping the weather cooperates. Timeline can continue. As like, 
are a little behind because like the weather was so nice thought would have more done by this point but you know snow happens can't really help with that and i'm just hoping i'm just hoping everything goes smoothly like moving sucks trying to get the projects up and running at the same time sucks but if everything works out right like I, how i feel is as long as every wednesday a good chunk of progress can be made both of like getting shit from my house over to the garden and then also utilizing that stuff in the garden i feel like everything will be fine i think i mentioned before like we started packing ages ago most of our deck like 99 percent of the decorated stuff is packed anytime i see anything else i'm like oh shit that can be packed up i literally grab it and chuck it into like a miscellaneous box i have going on once that box gets mostly full i grab another box and pack it really nice with like you know make sure anything breakable is wrapped and all that stuff And it's getting to the point where like I can probably start packing up some of my craft and prog project stuff and if I need something I can just grab it out of the box sort of thing and just start getting more things packed up. Probably tonight I'm gonna finally buy the patch, the whole patch repair kit. And so this week I'm gonna take out the last of the screws. I found like a couple more randomly. I was like, fuck, grab that one. Let's look at those. Repair the little holes. Give any scuffs or that a quick buff out, quick clean. Basically just like do all the wall stuff, the moving out wall stuff. So that's not a concern anymore. And the next thing to do will be to replace the curtain rod and shower curtain. And I think that's all we have to do on like the repair and replace list. Like we've been, oh, bah. it sneaks up on me every time. Like we've been, like we would really try to take care of the property and treat it like it's our house, our space and be respectful of it. And we don't want to damage it. So like overall, like generally when like anytime I've moved out of a place, all I've ever had to do is repair holes. Um, and that's just because fuck you, I am putting screws in the walls and I am putting my shelves up and I am hanging my pictures in that uh, in a way that they, it, you know, they won't bust down. I will just repair it when I leave. Like that's my mindset. And generally I have found like landlords don't care as long as you replace it because often they're planning on painting like after you anyways. I just gotta run to bed. What if I put a powder melon? And then what if I just be real cheeky and I do that and then I go to sleep. Yeah, so not much on the list of like repairs and replacements we need to make. And as soon as like the couple outside stuff is taken care of, that should any any concerns that she has brought up will have been addressed at that point. Hello. Uh Iron Bar, okay. I gotta put things away. That goes there. That stuff goes here. And then how many do I need? One, two, three, four, I need ten. Plus two, plus one. And honestly, like, I already know she's gonna be painting this place because the, the, previous, the previous tenant did a very creative paint job of black and like a really dark, dark fucking red, like a dark burgundy. Um, and did that real poorly. Uh, so I know she's already, <laughs> she's already planning on uh, like covering all that up when we move out. Fishies already.
I just one left. Excellent. Well, remains. Oh no, watch out the cast first. I will get you your fucking fire quartz. How long is the night market? It's three days, right? I think it's, yeah, I think it's also tonight. So I can go into the mine tomorrow to look for the fire quartz. Oh, I also need to look for the fucking bones. I don't think I'm going to end up doing that bone quest. Jeez, my inventory is full. Okay. Hey. Looks like there's a thing up here, but I can't actually click on it. All right. Oh, we got. Why did I do three when I need four? There we go. Why did I get so many glasses? Awful. All right, well, I got the four there. I don't know if I'll do five, because I, I don't really like the ice pip in all honesty. Like, I don't think it really changes the color of the water that much. I don't feel like it's really worth getting. Yeah, okay, I think I'll just stick with the four. All right, I should probably start also figuring out where to put these, you know? What if I need, no, cause that's where I'm gonna put the flowers, right? The flowers will all go right there. So I can't do it there. I mean, I could in do like, there. Can I flip it? I didn't flip you around. Can I make it face the other way at all? Can I rotate? Can I not rotate? Rotate. Rotate. Oh, I don't like that. I want to mirror them. I dislike that they can't be mirrored. I could have them at like the entrance to my farm and then be like little guardians. Ah, oh, perfect. A plus. All right, what next? We got the ponds, we got some bushy seasonal plants. Kind of like the idea, like I like it right there, and then that would put that one. So, one, two, three, like that. I don't think they need to be mirrored. Like it there. Put a little stone one there. Or, mm, cause I think maybe I'll want to put the, extend the path to here and then I'll want to put a lamp there. And then a lamp there, okay. This also needs to eventually be moved. There anything? Oh, I'll probably put something up here. Like something go up here? Oh, I can't. I want to put a lamp probably on this side, so it could go on. Oh, actually, put that like that. A nice little double. And then I'll put that there. Oh, that looks so cute. Perfect. Starting to get the barn decorated. Oh, I think that right there. 
And then, let's see. I still have not figured out where to put the little, the little uh, bird baths. I think I need to get more pathing done. That's what I need to do. Can I get back there at all? Can I put this back here at all? No. What? Back there. Also, this area up here. I'm really not sure what I want to do with up there yet. They all turn it to some like weird little shrine. I could also do something a little better with this area at some point. All right, for now, all of this stuff can go into the white chest. Let's see, I got a bit more flooring. How much stone do I have? Do a hundred more pieces of flooring. That, and then how do I want to do the pathing here? So it needs to link up with this. Well, I know I want to do between all of these, like that. And then I want the preserved jars on the outside. So then this has to come like that, which links up like this and comes here, which links up like that. They got on grass. And I'm already out. I got a blank. Ah. Awful, okay. Oh, I got a little more done. I know I have a lot of wood, just like in general. So, oh, it's almost time for the market though. Never mind, I'll walk over there. All right, next time I have a moment to get a little decorating and like setting up my farm done. I'm going to place down the wooden floor where I want to put all the preserved jars. Uh, do I have the recipe for... No, I don't. For the, the lamps. I think that's a mining or combat recipe. All right, almost time. One last day, I'm pretty sure. Yes. Yes. Excellent. Okay. Hopefully there's one of the items I need. Please, please, traveling seller, I beg of you. No! There's not a single one of the things I needed. Oh, you've forsaken me. Yeah, okay, here we got owl statue. I want to. Thank you. All right, take me down. So. I was doing so much prep for the convention, right? Just trying to get as many new products up, trying to think of like how I can fill out my display. And I did it a little too well to the point where I designed an entire new product and did the bulk of the work only to realize I don't have room for it on my current display and I probably won't be able to make room for it. Um, I have a couple different ruin sets to make like sets of resin runes. And one of them is this nice little, they're like a uh, thinner, really beautiful, beautifully, like have really lovely decor on them. They're just a really lovely ruin mold in general. And I was like, oh, I could turn these into necklaces. 
people would love that. Because that's just since I don't have a lot of, like, just resin stuff for necklaces and people have been asking for it. Uh, and so I made a shit ton. I made a shit ton. All I have to do now is add, because like they've been poured, uh, most of them have been like 100% finished, I just need to drill the hole in and then add like the jump ring and the chain, but I have absolutely zero room left on my table. Like I would have to get another lamp to set up with all the pins in it to hang all the necklaces from, and then get something to prop that lump up up on because the lamp takes up so much space but it's really good when building vertical space on the table like I just have it layered on top of one of my four-sided or like the only four-sided uh keychain slash yeah it's, I think it's just key oh it's keychain and earring display which like I do want to get another four-sided spinning earring and keychain display that is something I want to do because I have been expanding also my earrings lately um and <laughs> So one of the things that people really like is I make this cute little mushroom keychain uh, and my mold finally broke. You know, I got a good probably 40 uses out of it. It was a really great mold. I went to buy another one, saw one that was in like a pack and I was like, oh, this would be perfect. It turns out they were earring molds. I didn't read correctly, like a dumbass. Uh, so they're smaller than my original keychain mold. So on the plus side, I now have three new sets of earrings that I can make. They're cute little mushrooms. On the downside, I still have to hunt down the actual correct sides for the keychain mold. Speaking <laughs> of having new products I don't have space for. But like I, I do want to get another four four-sided display and probably when I get that at the same time, I'll get a second lamp. And then what I'm probably gonna do, because right now I have a mix of like gemstone necklaces, uh, like, and also pendulums on one of the lamps. And I think what I'm gonna do, I'm just like trying to figure out how I wanna organize it right now in my head. And I think what I wanna do is I wanna put all of the like pendulums and gemstone necklaces on one and then I have other necklaces that have like what I mean like gemstone necklace is like a gemstone pendant on a silver chain and I want the other lamp I think to be like the the bulkier stuff so I have a bulk a couple necklaces that have like big bulky uh beads all the way down and I plan on making a lot more my beads were supposed to be in on the second um, except the seller forgot to ship out my package until I touched base and was like, mm, my package was supposed to be here, what's up? So now it's not supposed to be here until the day before the convention. Very sad. But once those are, once I have those and those are made, those will also fit like the, the turquoise ones I have and the tiger's eye one I have. So I've been really trying to focus on keeping my shit organized and having a cohesive table. Ugh, I feel like I'm a beginner vendor again over the past year. I mean, it's because I got out of vending for almost five years. Like the first five years of, I would say the first three years of selling my own art, I did it exclusively through vending. And then I had to take a bit of a break and then I transitioned more into having my art in stores and I was taking a lot of commissions at one point where like I, I didn't have time for conventions and markets and that because I was so busy with commissions um, for mainly like digital art, pixel art. And then, you know, having my physical art in stores and it was only recently that I've like, yeah, only I would say in the past... It will be a year, actually, a year this this April, because the Yake 420 market was the first market I did getting back into markets, and their year anniversary is on 420. But I mean, for almost six of those months, I only did the 420 Yake market. I didn't do any other markets. So I would say only in the past like six-ish months, 
have I really gone back into vending and you know I got rid of all my vending stuff I, I sold it it got broken in moves I didn't need it what have you and also my art has changed so so much from what it was then that like because at when I first started the first couple of years it was essentially just bone pieces bone art curios I put the fucking coal back I just gonna take all that uh, so I really didn't need really any displays any really shelving you know each piece was individually tagged so I really didn't need tags or anything like that uh, and it's now only as my art has evolved and I've gone into more art disciplines and expanded my creative endeavors that I now need so much more shit. <laughs> and it's funny because I'll see people who are just starting out and I'm like, man, that is such a good idea for vending. I am, I am stealing it. Fun fact, uh, because man, it looks so much more professional than the shit I got going on. I got, I got Gus. I'll just get Gus a diamond. Oh yeah, I got diamond in inventory. Perfect. Ah, and then the nice little mushrooms. Oh, perfect. Gonna be another good money day. All right, I'm pretty sure the what's my who at traveling traveling night market thing is now done. So I'm just gonna go into the mines after I take care of everyone. Can I please see the dock? Thank you. Also, little rabbit, give me a foot. Ooh, tomorrow I need to go to Krobus. I need to go to Krobus and the traveling cart tomorrow. Krobus for an rhythm sprinkler, traveling cart for one of the three things still needed. Dump all of this. Alright, anything? We good? Oh, speaking of new art forms, I really need to make progress on the, on the wood projects. I just need to set time aside to actually like get out the saw, cut everything to size. I made sure I knew where my oil was, so I have that pulled out. Oh, there just seems to be so much, so much else to do in the day, you know. So much else. Go, go, go. It's, it's so funny because normally I feel like I have way too much time where it's like, ah, oh, I have nothing but free time. This is fantastic. And I'm able to get everything I want done. But lately I've just been, I've been too busy. I've been way too fucking busy. And it's only going to get worse. I know it's only, it's short term, temporary. But, uh, it's fine. I think I'm better prepared for a busy bullshit this time around than I feel like I have been previously. I feel like overall I'm like, I'm coping well. I'm handling the stress and busyness well. I think part of that is because I also like have very, very much intentionally been sending aside of time to just de-stress, de-connect. 
And also it's very much like, if I feel like I need a nap, I will just go have a nap. I will not try to force myself to power through. I am very, I am very lenient and gentle with myself. And yeah, it means I don't get as much done in a day as I would like to a lot of the time. But it also means I'm not getting burnt out to shit, you know? I feel like not getting burnt out to shit is very important. Alright, give me three of your finest quartz. I'll make my level. Need to do a little reconnaissance, see if I see any. I got a diamond. Hello, little one. Is there any fire quartz? No. All right. Oh, you dropped a staircase down. Thank you. I don't want regular quartz. I want fire quartz. I want fire regular quartz and fire levels. Oh. Can you please get me a quartz? Go fuck yourself. Man, not a lot on this level. And then the bato and a taco. Apparently attacking very slowly. Where is it? Oh, hello. Really? I do not see the bad attack graphics. I do not see the, I do not hear the bad attack music. Why am I being bad attacked? Hello? That's what the fifth, the sixth bat? Monster Slayer goal complete. Lolly isn't that nice. Ain't that a nice little bonus. The unofficial bad attack. Oh, perfect. All right, any any fire quartz? Who's it? Fucking bats! I would love. Why am I only finding regular quartz? What is this conspiracy? Confirmed. Even the fire quartz for me. All right, maybe I'll have better luck on. Some of the lower levels. Uh, let's go to 90. Fuck that. Let's go to 95. All right, I would like fire quartz. Three of them, please. Thank you. Up here. Hello? Why are you so aggressive, my dude? I am only here to murder you. Yeah, I can get them via Magma G. Eric is infested. Alright, drop good loot. So fucking many of you. Don't like this. Going away. Do you have a cake inside of you? Huh. Did have a cake. Do you have anything inside of your body? No. Do you have anything? No. Disappointing. I wanted more mysterious slime cake. Alright, anyone you go? Oh, you're gonna follow me. Bam. Alright, who's next? Oh, hello? Oh, mercy. Oh, have mercy. I might have to just, uh... Where's that cake? Snack. 
So many slimes. No fire cords. Also, no secret notes so far today. Which I feel like I'm, I'm missing a good chunk of them still. All right, fire quartz. <laughs> I scream into the abyss. But I look for the fire and there's only regular quartz. Man, my time would have been probably better spent getting the bone shards I need. Being honest. Lack of fire quartz. That I have no want to associate with you. Finally, yuck off. All right, I'll try to do a real quick ice level run. So that's what, level 70 to 80? Yeah. Hello, I've come to collect your bones. Found the bone witch. Then make art of the bones. Hello? Yes! Four fragments out of a hundred. Ah ha ha. Five! And another thing in a glass! I never want to see regular glass again! Alright, bones? Any bonermen? Can you drop more than a single bone, please? Oh, look at that. It's got some secret notes now. Some little set sprites. I have... I'm pretty sure I have Max Fishing. Yeah. I gotta just sell that book. Get $500 Reno's. Oh, no, no, no. I can trade books for other books with the booksellers in town. I should save this. Can y'all leave me alone? Looking for skelly mans. I need so many bones. Ooh. gotten all of seven lord have mercy all right i'm gonna read some notes ah look at that marito one five four two three for next year oh they need to do that really bones can you leave me alone I need to try to get like 20 today. We'll see. We'll see how that goes. Can I go down this way now. No long range sneak attack. I'm not max mining yet. I'm not. Cool. Now am I max mining? Five more floors to do. I got 14 boner. Leave me alone. I just want the exit. I also very much want mining 10. Yes. Alright. Hello, Skelly Mounds. Are you hiding? There's nothing on this level. Okay. Can I can I find the stairs? Oh, 
right. Oh, inventory full. That's one. Is there any more skeleton skeletons? Yes, hello. Nothing. All right, what about down here? What do you got? How many shards do you have to give me? Once again, I get the bone sword. Uh, what do I want to throw out? I have so much shit in my inventory. I don't care about that. I don't care about that. All right, I'm almost at target. I need just three more bone. Right there. Okay. Me three more bone. Three more bone. Come on. Hello? Can I please have three bone? I have no bone. Fuck no bones, eh? Please. Please. Is there anyone? No. Can I find the exit real fast? I think I just need a fifty pop out of the mine. Alright, running home, running home. Okay, anything to sell. That and that. Is that I think that's all? Oh, well, that's all those. Yeah. Okay. Uh, I don't want the bones going in there. And this goes in here. Sold at a later date. Okay, cool. Gonna put this in here from the bookseller comms. That can go in there. You know, maybe I'll also just grab... I'm gonna be going back in the mines. So I'm gonna get more solar essence. Because then the next time I go to the desert, I can get the better sword and I can give the dragon its sauce meal. All right, we got it today. Nothing. Take care of animals. Run to the mines. Oh, come on, level ten forging. I beg of you. Fuck. Give me bones. Damn, no bones. All right, give me your rabbit's foot. Fuck. Damn, stop it. Not eat duck egg. I'm not gonna check the greenhouse today. I'm just gonna bit down here, go check the fruit bat, and then right to the right to the mines. But yeah, it's looking more and more like community center will not be completed in uh, year one, but rather in year two, probably spring of year two. Which is fine, I guess. All right, what you got for me today for bats? Ooh. Uh... All right, tossing the stuff in the cell bin, not even finish with the rest of the stuff, and then just straight to the mines. Collect bones. I 
Only a few days left, I think. Yeah, I need... I have three days uh, to get 80 bone. Don't think I'll be able to do it, but I can sure try. And at the same time, I mean, it, it gets my combat up. It gets my mining up. Because my combat is suffering. Look at that, look at that. I crave it. I crave the 10. Uh, yeah, 80 is 90. Nope, wrong one. It is 72, maybe there we go. And immediately I am blessed with skelly bones. Let's fucking go! Combat level 8! Or combat level 9! Yes! One step closer to the new new cave. I mean, okay, I just I mean I just level up my combat. Like, do we need to rush 10? I like how I just want this ore, then I think I'm gonna move down the stairs. Whoop. Oh, please, can I hit level 10 mining? Alright, we got 24! Now, like, what, a quarter of the way there? Officially a quarter of the way there. Any more little skelly bones up here? Oh, a secret note. Another secret note. Can you finally die? Annoying flying rat. Alright, we got two secret notes. Pop all that down. Okay, thanks, Grandpa. Somewhere in the valley of a... I've hidden a very special secret for you somewhere in the valley as a compendium of my greatest discoveries. Someday when you're ready, you'll find it. Interesting. I don't remember that note. Is that a new note? Because I think there's two new ones. Yes, I feel like I need to hit at least like 45, 50 bone today. Oh. Goddamn quartz. All right, I think there was one more branch to check and that'll be to look for the stairs. I love my outfit I got going on. I got my squid hat. I got my fancy, my fancy little top. From the Oasis Sandy Stop. It's all fancy. The peak of fashion. Oh, hello, bone friends. It's an honor to make your acquaintance. Give me the bones. I only need like 20 more for today. It's fine. I just need to hope that the next levels are just packed full of enemies. Oh, we got going on over here. Nothing. Any skelly bones down here? Jam packed full of enemies, please. I want nothing but skelly bones full of I would love to hit a skelly bone like monster level. That would be incredible. Okay. 
Okay, what's this other secret note? Ah, something funny with garbage cans. Is this another no enemy level? <gasps> One little enemy! No drops. Alright. Oh, I hear them. I see them. Surrender your bones to me. Fuck. Oh, I see. Yeah, there's puff on this level. That's nice. Come on. At least, at least 40 bone today. Oh, 50 would be much better. That'd be at the halfway mark. There's still two days to go. Last level. And there's no skelly bones by the looks of it. God damn. Man, this level just keeps going. And there's nothing. This point went disgrace. Well, not much that can be done. I can just keep trying. And hey, hit one of the goals that I wanted to accomplish with uh, getting all these bone shards. That's on what, two out of three? Yeah, or two out of five rather. And I have to be close for these two. I have to be. All right, I'm gonna sell all these because fuck that. All right, uh, that needs to be broken open. That needs to be planted. Because I could, like I could just Take a hundred and go bip it into the museum. Yeah, I will do that. Maybe I'll just do I even have a hundred? I have exactly a hundred. I'm gonna bip to the museum, toss all of them in the museum, and uh get that taken care of. So I can just focus on like the mines. That doesn't matter if on the last day I'm in the mines at like midnight. Important question, are you the ultimate gamer? Da da da! Uh, I'm certainly a gamer. I don't think I'm the ultimate gamer though. Do I have anything to give him? Oh, I have. Alright, what do I want to spend the rest of my day doing? I could fish? Or maybe I'll go and chop trees down. I do, I really want to hit- <gasps> It's Friday! It's Friday! It's Friday! It's Friday! I almost forgot! I almost forgot! Robert! I almost forgot to come see you! I am so sorry! Uh, I need one. Avoid egg. Thank you so, so much. Uh, and two... Everything's very clear. Thank you so, so much. Anything else? I'll just like get that. Goodbye. I now need to book it to the traveling cart. Just running. Alright. Running, 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 running. Ignoring, ignoring everything. Ignoring everything else. I just need to run to the cart. Nothing else matters. 
Oh, there's so much foraging. So many things for me to get. Ah! Hello! Eh! <sighs> there's nothing I need. Fuck. Run all this way. Not even the thing I need. Let's get, I'm gonna chop trees down. I'm gonna get all the foraging stuff. Hit level 10 foraging. Uh, three out of five. I'll just leave mining and combat. Maybe after I maybe after I fill the bone quest. I'll just focus on going to the fire levels and just clearing as many levels as I can with a couple energy bars. Uh, one, get magma geodes so I can hopefully get the fire quartz needed. And two, get my mining to ten. And it'll just be combat. Which I feel like I'll get my first time going into the, let's move it, let's call it mines. Level 10, level 10, level 10. I think at this point I have, oh, I still do have the fall forge seeds planted in the greenhouse. So that will give me another good chunk of experience if this doesn't do it. No ideas? No. What hats do you got? So many hats now. I'll buy all little $1,000 hats. Add them to my collection. I have a straw hat. I have the sailor's hat. I have a blue ribbon. Cool. I have supported the local economy via hat mouse. All right, there we go. Leave. I think the last little bit of foraging is over here. I don't think there's any trees to cut down. And all right, that is all the foraging left. Uh, you know I'm doing it. I'm getting the XP. All right, most of that fell into the water as expected, but it's fine. <gasps> Every bit of fruit I draw closer. Right. I can move this. Perfect. Uh, where do I want to put my crystal there? Yeah, that's a, you know, I'll just have it in my house. Cool. All right. All of this goes in here. Like all the hats I got. Hats upon hats. All right, that is all money. I'm gonna start saving all the gems I find instead of selling them. All right, I gotta put that in the coop. So let's go here. I have enough time. 
It's only midnight. Goodbye. Do I have time to go? No, I don't have time to fuck with the greenhouse. I will just go to bed. I will be responsible. I'm at level nine. Let's go. All right, so in like a day or two, I'll stop planting the winter melons outside. I'll just have to put them in the greenhouse. Oh, a little more foraging. Do I have ideas to sleep on? No, I want ideas to sleep on. Alright, what do we have today? We have a brown egg. Can I have the duck egg? Move out of the way! Awful. Ooh, two duck eggs today. And look at all that- I was gonna say, look at all the iridium quality and then the one gold. That's right, I understand they're a little cranky, you know, the winter, it's long. They can't remember the last time they've seen the sun. Alright, uh, nah, nah. Harvest? Can I harvest? I don't have my scythe. Cool, cool, cool. Got lots. Now I just need to place my. Oh no, my rhythm sprinkler goes outside. One second. It was outside, that's right. Okay, so I have the one here. And then we're gonna bop. And a bop. And it goes right there. Cool. All right, back into the mines I go. Uh, did I pet the barn animals? Did I pet them? No, maybe, possibly. I don't know, who cares? In the mines. Nothing else matters, only mines. We're level 70, go down to 80. I'll just do the same thing I have been doing. I'm only gonna get like the gem nodes and the ore nodes. Okay. Anyone up here? No. Alright, so what am I sitting at? I'm sitting at 39. Never did I think I'd be so upset about the consistent lack of enemies in the mines. You know what I could do? No, I don't think doing an impromptu uh, skull mines just to try to get some bones is the smartest thing. I will go and I'm well prepared and long stuffed up on mines. Although, I mean, maybe I'll do that tomorrow. Maybe I will go tomorrow. I have a lot of food. I'm going to be getting the sword. I got a good little stack of bombs and shit. Might not actually be the worst idea. More oh, secret notes. Alright, uh, don't care. And... 
No better helper than a raisin fed Junimo. I know they're taking out. My lord. Just start saving all my diamonds so I can give those as gifts because everyone loves diamonds. All right, do we have any skeletons over here? Just the incessant flapping of bat wings. have on this level. Hello, friend. Ow. Well, at least there is one friend. Yes, hello. Yeah, thinking about it more, I think going to the mines tomorrow is the smartest idea and the one I probably have the best chance of completing this quest for. Because I remember it's a good it's a good amount of money. And I would like even more money going into spring. Oh, I should get the rest of my bee houses set up before spring too. So that once my flower field is all up and operational. It's nothing but flower money. Oh, and I think the next reward is all the preserved jars, which I I need for the fish area. I need to stop using the fruit bat preserved jars. Is there absolutely no monsters on this level? Annoyingly peaceful. to start the, the quest that I'm doing the last thing on. Where are my stairs? Not that. I don't mind the XP, you know. Alright, last level. Got an absolutely abysmal amount of bones today. Not even a boner man on this level. Oh, wow. Alright, I'm just gonna use up the rest of my energy. I'm trying to get the level 10. Ghost, just die again. Thank you. Just waiting, waiting for that notification.
if I'm still not 10 by the time I'm done this level, I will go down to the next level and also clear it. Get some more geodes to crack open. Oh, well. I find my levels. Oh my goodness. Okay, hello. I guess I will take all this gold ore. Why, thank you. Alright, any anemones? Any fire quartz? Alright, let's look for me with you now. I should probably also start upgrading my, my tools to gold as I just have them at iron, just chilling. Ooh, Omni Geode. Yes, Magma Geode. Listen here, Bato, I already have stairs. You're not needed. Ow. Alright, onto the third floor to clear for the night. Am um, I still level nine mining? Questions? Please? Meet your end, Balfo. Oh. Ow. Alright, get this ore and then I think I will be done digging in the mines. Oh, also that ore. Okay, and I'll kill this dude, you know? Okay, now I'm done. Now I'm done. <gasps> what about this? Okay, God, truly. Uh, another secret note. That's exciting. Uh, how many secret notes do I have now? Crafting, uh, collections. Only missing two. That ain't shabby. They're getting a shit ton done on the mines, now that I think about it. Wait, how many more do I need to find? <laughs> okay, cool. So hopefully I found like 50 in the mines tomorrow. Do I have anything to sell? No. Okay, so that is the only thing I have to sell. I'm just going to toss those in too. Uh, this can go in here. Alright, so what I'm going to go take for my food. That is the real question. I want to take my go-go juice. Do I have anything? That gives me more defense. That gives me a lot more luck. Maybe I'll take a lucky lunch. And if I also need it, crab cakes to regain health though. I think I'm going to take, and then I also have the energy tonic. So with all this food, I should be good. Just going to make sure I didn't forget about my barn animals today. Oh, considering I didn't grab this. Hello, did I even set foot in here today? I did not. Oh. You know, it's the evening. I normally do it in the morning. It's fine as long as it gets done. I can still milk y'all even if you're trying to sleep. Also, why did, why did the lavas give me three lava eel row? Good lord, I think I'm just going to have to sell that. Oh, what do y'all want? You want... So 
silliness from the fish pond department. All right, last day I'm going to plant powder melons outside. So, 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 so. Cool. Tomorrow I am ignoring my animals. They do not exist. Instead, ah, I will go. Oh, I guess I can't. I do have to wait for uh, Pam to actually get there. The animals will not be ignored. If only I had a warp totem, just to... maybe I'll bring. I should bring a farm warp totem. Ooh, queen of sauce. What do we got? Greetings, says I. A pumpkin pie. Delicious. And I also forgot my bombs. Uh. Okay. What if I got new foraging ideas to sleep on? That'd be great. Plant is open before Pam gets there. I will just... Alright, and my bombs. Grab all of my bombs. Hello? There we go. Is there only one chicken egg today? Or one uh, duck egg, rather? I think so. Okay. That's done. Yeah, I keep my inventory as empty as possible. Oh, uh, we got some random peppers. Okay. I do not have what I need to chop. So I'm just gonna do this. Can I just do. No! I just wanna bonk it down. Can I put things like. Yes! Cool. That will up my income even more! God, I'm taking the least efficient route in getting this stuff done, and it's still only eight. Still two hours to wait! But I think I have everything I need. I have my bombs, I have my food. I'll be getting the good sword. Yeah, I don't think I'm gonna go down to the fruit bats right now. Gonna pop that up. Oh no, I don't want to sell that hole. I also need to grab one of those to feed the dragon its last meal. Okay, Clint opens at, I think, 9. So I'm gonna pop over to Clint's. Finish that quest, get it out of my inventory. Oh, not mine. Down. Hello. No problem. Give me the money. Thank you. Uh, mm, no, I don't have time to go forage at the beach. I was thinking maybe I could go forage at the beach, see if I can find the sea urchins for the blobfish, but do not have the time. Instead, I'm just going to stand here, impatiently waiting. I'm going to also prep my go-go juice. Get those up on taskbar. This is stuff that needs to be broken open. Okay, ready. I am ready for the first skull mine run of the stream of the day. How you want to freeze it? I thought Pam gets her ass here.
Thank you. Goodbye. To the desert we go. Those dig spots. Make it those. All right. Da 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 da. Better sword. Ah, oh, shiny. Yeah, see sword. Da 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 da. All right. I gotta go this way, so we'll go. And then. Cool. That's done. Look at that. Five bones already. Uh, okay, cool. Did that count? Did excellent. All right, ready. Jesus, immediately, immediately getting fucked. What the fuck is this shit? So many questions. All right, I need to find an exit. I should use my mega bombs first. Oh, please, oh, please, oh, please. There's so many. Jesus. All right, where is a good spot to do this? Uh, right there. Oh, let me out, let me out, let me out! <gasps> There's holes! We love holes! Yeet! Aw, oh, sad mummy noises. I thought there was more, like, skeletons than that in the skull mines. Sure, you also get a bomb. Oh, yes, we got a hole. Seven levels. Oh, I also forgot to drink one of these. And I should eat the spicy eel. Get my luck up. Oh, I'm so zoomy. So zoomy. Oh, uh, what do I want to do? Where do I want to put this? It's not a good cluster. You know what? Make a bomb? Right here. Did it work out? Yes, let's go! 13 levels! Dang! Oh, wrong one. Oh, there's a lot of you on this level. I just like that. Goodbye. Goodbye. I'm gonna leave. I go. Oh, where's where's the end of this? Give me that coal. Yes, iridium. You know what? what am I doing? What am I doing? Run. Oh, wait, you little slime. Oh, hello. Thank you for the bomb. Uh, this looks like another good cluster. Another hole. 
Uh, I need to think I maybe need to get my health up just a little bit before I go down the next hole, actually. Now that I look at it. Now we jump down hole! Fire quartz! Come here. Don't let me pick it up. I can't. Oh, my inventory is full. <laughs> Shit. Uh, you know, that can go. That can also go. Oh, is that a hole I just saw down there? Is that a hole? No, it's not. Boo! I want a hole. You know what? Stairs also work. Uh, I think it's a time for- well, after I knock him down, it's time for a mega bomb. Oh yeah! Let's go! Look at all that shit! Hello! I think hitting 42 for my first run in the mine is, uh, pretty damn good. Gonna recover a little bit of health. Keep finding them holes. Oh, hello, little ghosty. What's up? What's up, boo? Listen, I'm just gonna put this here and walk away. Thanks. Why did you hurt so much? Who gave you the right? I am blocked. Alright, uh, we'll put this right here. Oh, I don't think Mega Bomb time not nearly as packed together as the last level. Okay, there we go. Go in here. Go in here. So we get. Alright, hmm. I feel like putting that one right there and walking away because fuck you slime. Uh, ooh, this is a good place for the Mega Bomb. And then I'm going to need to eat, I think I'm going to eat the crab cakes. Oh, I gotta get this iridium. Alright, down. Any good clump of rock? I mean, this is fine. Oh, stairs. Excellent. Leave me alone, dragons! Cool. I'm gonna put this, I think, right here. Damage that slime. Oh, I love to see stairs. Oh, I'm just gonna put that right there. And more stairs. I love, I would love another hole for me to jump down. I hate how many, <laughs> what is this? What fresh hell? Leave me alone. Oh, excellent. What if I just... Let me just eat this real quick. We're only at seven. Oh, I forgot to bring a farm to them. 
There should be stairs at the end of this. Look at that! Almost 55. First dive. I'm actually feeling quite proud of myself. Feeling quite accomplished. Billy really Bats, leave me alone! I was making such good progress until you came along. Thank you. Alright, we're gonna put that one here. Stairs. I got five more bombs. Let's see. One there. That'll do. Right here. Hey. Right there. Oh, come on. Let me place it. There we go. Oh, do I want to pull that bad? Kinda. No, I should just go. I should just go down those stairs. Well, I'll see if I can get to 60. Last one. Oh. Seven levels? God damn. Alright. I think this is the farthest I'm going to make it today. Uh, unless, can I make like a bunch of stairs? Do I have the recipe? I should have the recipe for stairs. I can make two stairs. I feel like making... Bombs might be more worth it. Where can I even put them? What the fuck? Sir, I'm just trying to- I'm trying to mine. I'm simply craving the mines. Why are there so many of you coming after me? This isn't fair. It's fine. Going down. Uh, do that. The boxes. Cool. Any stairs and or hole? No. There we go. Oh, I'll, I will need to heal. Let me just eat these really quick and then I can jump down the hole. All right, eat. Eat the levels. God damn. Uh, ooh, this is a good spot. Oh, I'm six levels. Oh, hello? Oh, it's a good thing I've kept this around. Oh. Level 80, first, first little dive into the fucking mines. Kind of want to keep pushing it, you know? Like, could I theoretically get to 100 my first dive in? Got new ideas to sleep on. I don't think so, and I'm very soon going to have to run out of these mines. But the fact that I've gotten so deep on my first run. I think it's kind of kind of cool. Place 
that here. Oh, there should be a staircase at the end of this. It's late. It's late and I need to go. All right, leave the mine, run home. All right, so definitely uh, up my luck. We really like foods that up my luck. And uh, foods to heal me for falling down all the fucking holes that I find with high luck. That is, that is a strat. All right. Jeez. Uh, and one single fire cords, that's fine. That uh, can go back in. I'll actually start storing them in here, I think. Food. All right, and then yeah, definitely to uh, Clint and Gunther tomorrow. And I'll need to select a new community. <laughs> Three out of five. Three out of five. Getting closer to the new mine. Oh, excited! I've never been so excited to hit like max level and all the all the different things. So I know something. Okay. Algae soup. Thank you. Oh, we got mushies. I got some good money going into spring. Yep, thank you. No duck eggs? Oh, one. And hopefully the little tiny eggy hatches soon. Today. Ooh, you know, I bring my scythe over here. Oh, I think we got a random poked hat. All right, I'm gonna finish filling out the kegs. We'll do a little potato. I should probably go forage at the beach today, too. Try to get the sea urchins. Alright, ignoring all the fishies. That yoink. What do we got? I mean, it's not, it's not bad. It's been the typical lately. I guess it can go in here. Alright, so it's what? Combat and foraging now? 
combat and foraging. Hopefully I can get lots of combat book from seller today, from the bookseller. And all this can be sold too. Cool. What do you have? Oh, my two wormies. Uh, okay, it's cold. It's fine. And no ideas to sleep on? All right, hello. I've come to give you much money. All right, let's start with the just like regular ones. We got a rock. We got what is that? Granite? Magma Geotime. We got more rocks. We got a fire quartz. I've never been so excited to get fire quartz out of a geode before. Now, frozen geodes. We got ghost crystal. It does a repeat. We got clay. We got more rock. We got iron. Uh, Lunarite, which is a repeat. Copper ore. Oh, I think this was new. Ocean, no, ocean stone is, and that's a repeat. Out of the mystery boxes, we got flower seeds. More flower seeds. Fertilizer. Corn seeds. Now, out of the Omni Geodes. Last fire quartz we need for the quest. Yes, let's go. Cool. A thunder egg. Ooh, sandstone. Thunder egg is new. Another ocean stone. Petrified slime. Ernie more. Lunarite. I think that's slate. Basalt. Neko. Nekoit. I'm not even going to try to pronounce that one. Copper. Stone. And last but not least. Esperite. Oh, good chunk of new ones in there. So let's go over to Gunta. Hello, friend. Donate to museum. All right, what are my new rewards? I got coffee fee. Got a rare, another rare crow. Just gonna continue to leave everything there, you know? All right, now. Uh, I guess to the beach, then straight home to empty my god dang inventory. Mm. All right, what, what are the options? Buy them balance. Ah, uh, uh, I would love to fishy fishy for sure. Oh Jesus, so many wormies. One is just a winter root. We got a lost book. Is there any up here? Another winter root. We got carrot seeds. Mystery chests. Winter root. Another winter root. Okay, we got one sea urchin. Need another one. Yes! We finished both of the fishy quests today. Oh, exciting. so cute in the little I got I re-downloaded the seasonal outfit mod so I'm gonna see how it changes the outfits for spring let's see how it looks I definitely I used to have the seasonal outfit mod I don't know why I got rid of it um so yeah so I've re-added that 
and I think there was two other mods that I've added to my little roster here. So if I like them, if I jive with them, if everything works well after testing it for a couple days, then I will be adding it to like the official mod list. What is this? I agree, it does seem like a high luck day. Alright, I'm gonna go, I gotta go home. I gotta go home and empty my fucking inventory. And finish fishy quests! Looking at all the mostly finished rune necklaces in front of me, I think what I might do is I might just finish them. Because if if the my current neck pendulum cell, I don't really have anything to replace the pendulums in my display. And from what I've experienced, the pendulums go fast. So now that I'm thinking, I'm like, oh, maybe I should finish these these little necklaces here. And I have something to replace my pendulums once they sell. It's always that trying to balance, try to balance having not too many products and having like it be nice and cohesive, um, but also having enough products to fill out a table and also make sure it still looks nice and full, even if a bunch of stuff is so sold. Uh, it's a river I need, right? Yeah. Because I don't know why. I don't know why. I don't know what the psychology is. But if a table is too empty or is too cluttered, people ignore it, right? If it if you only have a couple products and you have a lot of empty space, people are just going to glaze over. Same with if you have a lot of clutter that isn't organized, people are just going to glaze over. So it's that balance of like trying to have a nice variety of products that lots of people will like at various price points so that they're accessible and affordable to everyone uh but also not like too much visual clutter and then also making sure you have enough backups so that as things sell you can put out or like reorganize your table and thankfully like i'm not bringing any of my bone pieces in the initial wave of stock um just because the, the first day, it's like an evening market. And the bone pieces, I find people think to find them really beautiful and really pretty, but they aren't willing to like commit to the price. Slash, it's just like, it's not their style. Like they think it's beautiful. They see the appeal of it, but you know, it doesn't fit their home decor. So as things like my selenite bars sell, and that space clears up, I know, okay, the next day I can bring in the bone pieces to fill in that space. Choice paralysis is a real thing. Yeah, it, oh, it really sucks, especially when I have, you know, so many things that I make and so many things that I love doing. Um, it's like I haven't been able to focus on really making curios lately. Uh, I'm like, fuck, I don't have room for more curios on my display. <laughs> I kind of need to stick to like restocking what's selling or like the genre or expanding current genres of stuff that are really selling well. Although I need to do more tiny bottle earrings. Those sell really well as soon as the weather starts to get nice. So I need to go out foraging and uh, get some more supplies to make tiny bottle earrings. The last of mine are currently selling at uh, a store in town. I think I have all of two or three pairs left. So I need to make more both to restock them and also to sell at markets. Ooh, I should probably hit up, maybe I'll hit up the thrift store tomorrow if I have time. 
see if there's any more because sometimes the thrift stores have bags of like broken jewelry or just like sometimes even not broken jewelry I've gotten some really nice pieces for my personal collection from the bags uh but that's how I've gotten things like vintage pearls that are small enough to put into the little bottle earrings uh so like one of the ones I did was vintage pearls and hedgehog quills that my friend gifted me from their hedgehog they just kept the quills at like during cleaning the cages and that um, and then I did another one that was a cornflower seeds from flowers that I grew and then moth antenna from moths that had like a, another person who like breeds moths that I know gave me all of the like really like torn up and not really nice looking specimens and so the antenna fell off of a lot of them and so I took the antenna and put them in cute little bottles with the cornflower seeds and the moss and those sold out so fucking fast. Um... So yeah, I need to do, need to see what I currently have in my art collection that I can like use up and then see what I need to go out and like find. Cause I, I have a lot of beads. I just don't know if I have any beads that would look nice in the bottles. And I also have a bunch of rock chips actually. If I can find that bag, I have a bag of hundreds of miscellaneous little rock chips. Um, And so I could very easily make lots of earrings with those. So I think maybe I'll do something, you know, a little bit of moss, a little bit of the rock chips, and there just needs, there needs that third element, you know? And that's the thing I'm struggling with. It could be preserved flour, but then I have to find flowers that are small enough and won't get like destroyed by the little chips. Because things like pieces of shell and that, they get visually lost because they end up having to be so tiny. But if I could find some like really cool funky beads or other vintage things that I could salvage and put in, that would be fun. Because like I can still use, like I've used things like uh, bits of broken glass or broken china that had the patterning on it in pieces before. Because it doesn't matter that it's broken, it's still really pretty and like vintage, right? People love it. I think I have more stuff like I have a lot of hedgehog quills so I could do more of the hedgehog quills and vintage pearls or like another type of stone I just want to do cool shit and coming up with cool shit can be hard sometimes have I done this yet one more fishy Echo, thank you. I'm gonna get my ticket and get my prize. Ticket. No, let me in. Fucking mayor. I'll have to get my prize tomorrow. All right, I guess I will just go smoke all this fish. Is there anything I can sell? No. Uh, that can go in here. That all needs to go into the greenhouse. Greenhouse, greenhouse, greenhouse. I think I can get most of these done before I have to run to sleep. I'm probably going to take like a five, ten minute break here soon. I gotta use a washroom. Make sure that the animals don't need anything. 
Although I took the dogs, I think like 30 minutes before stream start. So they should be fine. But I don't know, like sometimes I'll be like, ah, oh, they're all fine. They're all good. Everything's topped up. And then like their water is running out. They suddenly have like, there's no food. I'm like, what the fuck happened in two hours? I want to risk it. No, it's fine. Okay, I'm going to do one more day and I'm going to take like a, probably more like a 10 minute break. Go to the washroom, get a snack. There was a strong windstorm during the night. Okay. It sounded like a big ass tree toppling over. Guess I'll look around the farm, see if anything's different. Uh, fish, cool. Camp, farm computer, cool. So far, I'm not, I mean, I'm not seeing anything. <gasps> that is a Babbitt's foot. Oh my gosh, that's one of the three items fucking needed. Let's go. Oh, I can also turn in the rabbit's foot today. That is exciting. Oh geez, all the trees have stuff. Alright, that's for selling that, that, and that. Okay, cool. Anything ready today? Oh, foraging. Please, please, let me see the notification. Fuck! Ah! All of that, and still not foraging ten. I really thought that would be enough. Damn. <sighs> I'm gonna have to yacht more trees down. Go to the desert just to chop down all the trees. The water is red now. Alright, what do you have for me today, oh many fruit bats? Please be something good. I'll just go fuck myself then. Oh, one, two, three, four. Pathing. It's so much more shit. You know, like, I feel like I'm making so much progress every stream. I'm also like, I still need so much shit. Alright, I guess I will... How do I want to do this? I think I'll go to Clint's. Then I'll get my reward. Then I'll turn in the foot. Alright, what do we got in the frozen geode? We have opal. Repeat. We got fucking clay. In the regular one, we got clay. And we got stone. In the mystery boxes. Mystery flower seeds. 
Speed grow. More corn. And more deluxe speed grow. Absolutely nothing to see Kunther about. Uh, put that up there. Give me my prize. Yes! Four preserved jars. Let's go! So next is... I think that's an apple tree and then a, a love book? Ooh, and then 12 bombs. Alright, what do we have in here? Oh, I got all the brown fragments because I failed the quest. Right, all right. Bam! Another winter route. Alright, I only need two more items to complete the freaking community center. Whoa! <sighs> the red cabbage and the truffle. All right, I think I will go to the oasis today and chop down all the trees. I should go, oh, the bookseller isn't here today. I missed the bookseller, fuck. Uh, we're like copper bar. All right, Alex, weirdo. All right, I'm gonna go with these also down by the fish ponds. All right, uh, sell, 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 sell. Just gonna sell that. All right, the eels were here first. So they will start getting a preserved jar first. Any seeds back here? And again, still forget the fucking scythe. Oh, I should have to grab that. Uh, grab this. Because I need I think I wanna do this right here. Okay, so I can't do two rows of bee houses, so I need a row of sprinklers. That's fine. Do I have any sprinklers set aside still. I think I sold them all. There's one shot. Yeah, okay. I'm gonna put them in here. Okay. Alright, uh. What am I trying to do? I'm trying to look at shit. Because I still need. Oh, if I'm a computer, I don't have a dwarf gadget. Okay, so I need more bee houses. I think maybe I'll try to get the rest of these made right away. So let's see, wood, coal, iron, and maple. Wood, maple, coal, iron. Uh, and I need a lot. So I'm just gonna, you know, make. Uh, let's see if I need more. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. I need. Sorry, I just need to pick you up one more time. So I need one, two, three, four. Yes, one more thing checked off the list. Cool. 
I just need to start getting the sprinklers there, which I'll be able to do as I replace, uh, you know, replace all these. All right, what else do I need? So I've done those. I do want to finish the crab pots, but that also means making, making more recycling machines as well. Those are also intensive. Uh, yeah, I think that's about it for now. How much stone do I have? I have a stack. That's not great. How many recycling machines and uh, what's my who's it do I have right now? Also, almost out of coal. Good lord. Alright. Right. I want one for every two. So, make two more of those with the ones I currently have. And then, if I make two, and that'll be one, two, three, four. Yeah, and that's the last one I can make. Okay. I can always smelt more ore. Like, I have a shit ton of ore. And actually, I think I'm like, I probably should actually be smelting a lot more of my ore. Can I put any here? I can put one. Okay. Most of the pod is inaccessible for crowd pots. Good to learn. That's pretty good. All right, and. Truth, I only want one more. Oh, can I make the last recycling machine then? Perfect. That area is done. I don't actually think I want any more crop pots. I think the amount of crop pots is good. The amount of recycling machine is good. So that is all finito. Uh, that can just go in there. Now I need more paths. So many more paths. I'm going to do 200 more paths. Excellent. Okay, finish the fish pond pathing. And like that. All right, and now, how do I want to do this? It needs to come from here and down, and then like that, and then from here, you can come this way. And up. Oh, there's a little, little torch there, that's why. Okay, and then, do both that and then also like that and over here I'm going to need to cut all this shit yeah okay that's fine I'm just happy I am getting more pathing down A double wide path here. Get out of my way, grass. Probably be doing this with my scythe to start refilling my silos, but eh. Is that lines up with right there? Oh, hello. How did I not notice that before? And I think that's a stone. Ugh. All the pathings already already almost used up. All right, that just looks a little silly, so I'm gonna make that a double. That transitions really nicely into a single. That looks fine. That looks all good. That will be all. I forgot to put the wood flooring down like a dum dum. I'll have to do that later. I need to do now the pathing. Pathing. 
right here. Uh, that goes like that. Alright, that's good. I'm going to do a, a different pathing through the pen leading up to here, I think. I mean, I have, I already have this type of pathing. Eh. Yeah, you know what? I want to change this type of pathing within the pen. Yeah. Alright, where else do I still need pathing? Over here. Uh, we're just gonna make that nice and pretty. Perfect. And then I guess over to Grandpa's. Oh, one up. I'll do that. I guess I should probably do. Can I do it across the bridge? Can't. Uh, where is Grandpa Shine? Over. Jeez. I might need to thin some of these trees out, I think. Just gonna... And make a nice path to Grandpa's Shrine. <laughs> and make this maybe a little more navigatable. Uh, how do I want to do this? Do you like... Yeah, I think this way. Jeez, there's a seed there, a seed there, a seed there, a seedling there. All right. Up. Do that. Over, voila, get to get to grandma's area. Yeah, I think I really need to clean this area up just a wee little bit. The whole point of letting the trees just like hang out here is so they can produce lots of moss. I can't exactly get the moss if I can't get to the trees, you know? Okay, that's fine. Oh, a little mossy seed. Okay, just wanna, I feel like chop these down and then that's good. Oh, you know what I'm going to Should we chop all, all the seeds? Goodbye. Hey there. Excellent. Game more of the farm figured out. I still have 12 path left over. Ah, oh, look at that, look at that. And then it is like that, and there we go. Alright, that's to sell, the rest is restoring. Oh. Alright, I'm gonna take a 10 minute break. I just. Progress saved. Alright, I'm gonna be back in, like, yeah, 10 minutes. I'm gonna sit by the fire.
I have returned. Went to the washroom. Got myself a snack. I've been having to, I don't have to go completely lactose free, but call it lactose light. Or just like in general, I really shouldn't be eating lots of dairy, lots of things with lactose. Have the lactose free version or like the a vegan alternative version. Which one of the great things about that is like the lactose free stuff often, often it goes on sale for like 50, like 30 to 50% off in the stores because it gets bought so slowly. But picked up, picked up this like coconut vegan yogurt. And overall it's okay, but it just has a slightly weird taste. So I, in order to like consume it, I need to make myself proper little yogurt bowls. So I did so. So I got the yogurt, I got some frozen fruit, I got kiwi, banana, and strawberries. And then I drizzled it with homemade tea syrup. And it's the tea syrup that I was talking about. I mean, I've talked about it a couple times that I made with the, I think it was French toast cardamom chai tea. It's a good, a good little snack. I'm excited. I'm happy. I don't know we're going to have our supper. I think I have, I have these giant blocks of like Campbell uh, chicken noodle soup. So it might just end up being a soup night. Just have chicken noodle soup. I don't know, it just how like cold and drizzly the rain or the weather has been. It, it's giving me very much like rainy fall vibes or just like winter. It's very still feels very wintry. So I'm just like, I ah, yes, I want the soup and the stews and the hearty meals. <laughs> uh, One, two, three, four. Oh, I have. I shouldn't count out anymore. I should just do the whole deck. Can I please? There we go. And uh, all of these. I'm definitely no need to create a worm bin. A little worm bin area. Maybe I'll create uh like a worm bin here and a worm bin here or something. A couple of worm bins down here. What do I need to create those, by the way? BT dubs. Hardwood, gold, iron, fiber. I need to smelt more bars. Also, what quest do I currently have? Uh, I need Void Essence and have these are Hardwood and get to 100. Okay. I can get those done. Oh. Alright, so I need a Dark Essence. How many Hardwood? 10. Uh, wrong chest. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Oh, I should also bring. I think it's wood and stone I need for the next upgrade. The ne yeah, the next house upgrade. I think I'm gonna go get that. Here, Robin. Here is your hardwood. Now upgrade my house. So much marching, still level nine. All right, hello, Bobbin. So happy to meet you, so happy to see you. Cool, excellent. Get that and then... Oh, a hundred pieces of hardwood. I am interested. Can I just buy the hardwood from you? I cannot, that's sad. Uh, especially since I only have, like, I have exactly a hundred uh, pieces of hardwood. So, I mean, 
I really want to go do that. Oh, there's a lot of recipes. Uh, I want the recipe, and I want that recipe, and I want four, and I want all the recipes, actually. Thank you. Seasonal flower path? Are you shitting me? That is the path I am using in seasonal. Oh my god, I'm so excited. So, one of the new mods uh, was a floor crafting mod. It was like, adds new ones without replacing the existing ones, which is what I really wanted. And that's what these are. Neo 4, Millie Cobblestone Path. Ah, exciting. Alright, uh, why am I going this way? I need to go back home and grab the hardwood. So I do want to upgrade my house. I have decided. Maybe what I'll do is I'll befriend Krobus and ask Krobus to move in with me. And we'll just be buddies. Alright, that's all. That's all. So, uh, the stone can go back. The rest of my hardwood. And then I finally go pay the wizard a visit. probably go out and see what's available to forge this week like with how cold and wet it's been and it's really nice afterwards I have a feeling there's probably going to be early mushrooms uh early green pine cones probably fiddlehead ferns real quick so I should start going and scoping out And there's also a couple patches of like stuff I know, like where it grows, like a couple fireweed patches that I should take a peek at and see if there's any signs of life. See if anything's coming back. Are you open yet? Can I buy anything from you? Oh, the giant omelet cutscene. What do you got? Yeah, do you have any? Ooh, I'll take that recipe. Thank you. Bye. Where am I going? What am I doing? Who the fucking knows? My brain is consumed by thoughts of yogurt and fruit that I keep stealing bites of. Let's see, so it's really, it's just combat and fucking foraging. Okay, the next time the bookseller is in town, I am going to go for books and get any combat or foraging books. Just get, get those with 10. Black can enter the new mine. That's all I want in life, is I just want to go to the new mine and see what it's about. I guess I also need to start preparing for my my attempt to reach a hundred levels in the skull mines. And yeah, I think the best bet is use bombs, lucky lunch, have high luck, use the bombs to find holes, and then stock up on some sort of food. The carrots are actually pretty decent food from what I remember, so I could save all the carrots. And use the carrots to regain health and energy 
as I uh, go through the skull mines and fall down holes. Bubbles are so good. What the fuck? Oh, the bubble's gone. All right, bye. All right, maybe I'll do some more pathing at the farm as well. Now they have the seasonal pathing. Do that through the coop area and through the also the barn. And I will eventually start decorating all around town as well. I normally will start with like the mountain pass and the bus stop. Well, after I do my house. I need to get the catalogs first, which will be a decent chunk of change. Alright, grab the coal real quick. Ugh. Need to do some coal runs. Don't bork at me. Alright, that goes down there. I'm gonna pop the phone in here. And where can I go? I'll put it right there. All right, it was fiber. And I have so fucking much. I think like 30 to start. Oh, so pretty. Love it. I'm going to have that line down here. Ah, oh, just enough. Let's go. All right, cool. Well, I want to take a quick look at the other paths. Maybe I'll make a couple of each, see if I like them or not. Oh, I also need to start making lamps. I don't think I have very many, very many batteries, though, to do so. All right, I think the rest of them used wood and stone. All right, we got... I got that. So there's one, two, three, four... One, two, three, four. Got 30 items. Fancy. All right, let's see, let's see. So this is the crystal one. This is, oh, what's this one? Medieval stone floor. Oh, that one, I really like the texture of that one. Like those are those are neat. I think I actually might replace the flooring over here with this one. I really really like it. It's not familiar cobblestone path. Oh, and the deep slate hot Minecraft reference is nice. I'm not a huge fan of the chiseled stone floor. The medieval floor is cool, but I'm not quite sure what I would use it for. Same with the deep slate. For now, I think I'm just gonna do some familiar stone flooring.
Oh, I need to do all the, the rustic plank floors over where I'm going to put the fucking preserve jars. Why am I like this? Why do I keep forgetting? Oh, what else paths we got? We got the normal ones. Winter snow path. Alright, put these down. And then I think I do want to extend it. And maybe also like that. Uh need oh, need that on, I need that on. Cool. I like it. And these down over here. I mean, one has something in it. It's fine, though. One, two, three. A go away tree. Oh, I can make more. Weather floor, brick down. Perfect. All right, cool, cool, cool. I need, let's see. I really should make a worm bin or two. Uh, oh, I should have been smelting shit all this time. Ugh. You know what? I might actually need to break out the charcoal kiln. I hate doing it, but I think I need to. Alright, temporarily you are here. Ah, my soul. And I'm completely out of iron. And I'm fucking low on coal. Oh, it just feels like such a bad payoff. Nope, after this one, I'm no longer doing it. Feels bad. I cannot. I don't care how much wood I have. I will simply have to suffer. Alright, I got two items for selling. Don't want to do a trip yet. Uh, a heater that I don't need. Can I sell that? No. Okay. I don't know where I want to put all of this quite yet. Oh, actually, I know where I want to put this. There, the owl statues will scare away actual owls and will keep everyone safe. Because that's how that works. Into the bed. Santa! All right. Anything to harvest? No. I think today is the festival day, so I will need to grab my diamond. Oh, I should have grabbed. Let me, let me grab stuff real quick. 
and there we do that. And one, two, three, four, five, six. Yoink. A doodle. We got parsnip juice and eggplant juice. Someday, if the boy chicken will hatch. Hopefully, that day is soon. Anything? Ooh! And again! I keep forgetting to bring my fucking scythe! The scythe will never make it in here. These will just exist for all of eternity. I have two. I have the golden one I could also bring in here. Shit today. Oh, the fruit bats. Jack shit. Uh, all those down. in here, that, and that. I am not making any more. I don't care. Any extra trash that does not fit will be tossed in the cell bin. Alright, this is all for selling. I think it starts at 9, so I should be able to just walk right over there. Yeah! Perfect timing. Feast of the Winter Star. Look at his little hat. That's what the shop has. Watermelon for way too much. Fried mushroom. Winter banner. All right, window. House plant. Anything? Anything down here? Anything interesting? Alright, I guess I'll just go and find... So it was what? It was... Where is he? Yes, there we go. Oh, Haley got me. All right. What'd you get me? Something I'm just gonna sell. Thank you so much. Okay, cool. Festival over. You're done. Okay. Just gonna dippity bop that there. Switch over. Coal. 
or rather the arm. All right, now I have a tidy little stack of iron after all this. Okay, uh, what do I need? Crafting. Where is my worm bin? Worm bin. Gold bar, iron bar, hard hardwood. Fuck. Um, any hardwood. Well, I guess I'm not making those. Fuck that. Uh, anything else I currently need to make? I would love to just make so many of these. Especially the wood lamp post. Uh, but I think I have all of two batteries. So I guess I'll make my first two lamp posts. I'll put... Can I rotate the lamp post? I cannot rotate. I'll put one here and put one over like maybe right beside maybe like there like that off to the side so I can still walk here all right now I can go to sleep And I'm still forging that. When you accidentally pick up your bed. Don't you hate it when you just accidentally pulp lift your bed as you're about to go to sleep? Then <sighs> you gotta remake your bed, it ends up being a whole thing. Salmon dinner. Uh, an albacore? Where the fuck do I catch an albacore? Is that an ocean fish? We got summer squash juice, eggplant juice, potato juice. Does the hardwood stumps give good XP for foraging? I think so. I really should start going to the secret forest and chopping down the hardwood every day. <gasps> yes! How am I going to name this little one? Raven? Raven the goth chicken? Where's my brown chicken egg? Oh, there it is. Beach morning and evening for albacore. Okay. Thank you, thank you. I'll take care of stuff on the farm, go and chop the wood at the secret forest, and then I'll go just fish all day and all night at the beach. Get the albacore quest out of the way. Done. And then I will just sell all the fish that I catch. I will not smoke them. I do not have the, the fucking coal to be able to smoke them. Today. Oh, we got happy fish. All right, what do you got for me today for Beps? Oh, so much garbage. Oh, 
Although I do feel like this is just like the perfect amount of crab pots. Not too many, still getting a decent amount of stuff every day. Oh, what is with the one trash left over? All right, all of that goes in here, including those. Hello, Popo. All right, secret woods. Oh, it's also Friday. I need to see Krobus as well. And the traveling cart. Hello. Yeah, nothing that I need. And what's up? I think it's something like 12 hardwood a day. I wish there was a, a better way to be able to get hardwood. And just chip chop every day. I mean there are the, the trees. But they don't they don't really grow in the winter unless you put tree fertilizer on them, you know? Oh, I still need to get a rare berry. See if the go double check to see if the traveling cart has one. Mahogany seed. And still, level 9 foraging. Alright, uh, just that to sell? I'm just gonna plant the seed right away. Got my little tree farm over here, you know? Did I not space these out, right? It's supposed to be one, two, maybe one, two, bond. That would only put one. I did not space these out, right? That's fine. Yes, it is. Need to go see Krobus before I forget again. Get the Ritter and Sprinkler. Switch that stuff around. Any fortune? And then I'll need to put the old sprinklers over by the uh, B area. Start to get that ready. Because pretty dang soon, it, it, it'll be spring. I'm here for the Iridium Sprinkler. Thank you so much. Is there anything else? No. I'm real curious about that wizard catalog. It's so expensive. Right, there's not really, any, I don't think there's any place really besides the desert I can go to get more foraging XP right now. Because I haven't chopped down all the trees there again. So I think I'll go do that before I go and switch things around the farm. Hello, one lace 
Late bus ticket? Who's the thanks? Alright. By the power of the desert, I shall be level 10 foraging. I believe. Ooh, a mystery box. Also, hopefully, get one of the two uh, secret notes that we still have left to get. gamble now, I'm pretty sure. Hello? I would like entry into one gamble, sir. Whoa! Gifts given. Look at that. Bye, key coins. So then you, so you use that to get these little things that you then use to buy all of these. Which I really don't see anything. I want to be honest. The skull is kind of cool, not gonna lie. Alright, back to trying to hit level 10 foraging. Uh, can I buy anything from you? Got a shirt. Alright. Any other trees to chop down? Anything else to forage? Damn. By the power of the desert. No level 10. Well, right then. Look that get home just as Pam's off work. Perfect. Uh this one like that. So that means like just that little okay, so like just that little strip. That's okay. Go and put that right there. Oh, I guess I could have beehives in between. Maybe I'll do that. Although not right now, not with the current resources I have. achievement did I get? Living large. Ah, oh, the upgrade. So now we have an upstairs. Oh, the last two melons. 
perfect. Hello, doggo, I love you. Look at the farm, really starting to come together. Oh, I'm trying to get my Junima plush this season. So on the last day of the season, tomorrow, I have to go to one of the bushes of the playground at noon. I think the next house grade, house upgrade is just $100,000, so I will have to hold off for now. What kind of seeds do I currently have in my little thing here? I can plant a lot of corn, a lot of mystery seeds, some carrots. Let's do carrots and corn. I can't wait to see what the spring version of the seasonal path is. Yeah. All right, just the fruit bats now. I guess also these guys. Hello. Are right, you at? You're at two out of three. You're at two out of three. I think for the wizard quest to get access to the other fish I want, I have to befriend the wizard. I also just might wait until after the community center is complete, see how much friendship points I still need. I did not get the albacore. I completely forgot about the albacore, if I'm being honest. Too much a bit of booping around. The garbage or the garbage. I will go get to the albacore today. All I shall do is fishy fishy for an albacore. Alright, I'm off. I'm off to the not the desert, to the ocean. Because what ended up happening is I got distracted by trying to reach level 10 foraging. And so, you know, trying to think of all the ways, what, what can I forage? Don't go to the beach, go to desert. Right, I'm here. Like. We got that. I don't care about the seaweed. All right. Just gonna fish all day. Ah. I'm starting to get the last bit of my yogurt. God damn it. Yeah, I'm ready. There's no more yogurt. Nothing to be distracted by.
Apparently the wizard quest is triggered by completing community center bundles, which I assume means all community center- Ah! Well that's annoying, but all right. Tis what tis. That's all I meant to do. Alright, so complete the community center, then we'll be to. I want to do those quests as soon as I can. Uh, get the other two fish I need. And yeah, just like finish that little quest line. I still haven't been able to figure out what that like big windstorm thing was, where then like the tree. It sounded like a tree got knocked down. There will also be the like raccoon to clean up spots on the island. And then also the second island. Man, a lot, a lot happens once we finish the community center. What I think what I'll do is I'm going to focus on doing the wizard stuff first and then going to Ginger Island. Oh, I wonder if that wind event was the start of the raccoon quest. I'm gonna have to check Marnie's farm and see and see if so. Because I think what happens is the tree falls down and you can either give resources, I think, or like pay money or something to like fix it back up. And then there's like a whole little series of quests where you unlock like the whole little raccoon family. From what like a little bit I've looked into it. I think, but I think the like big windstorm with the sound of the big tree falling down was the start of it. I think, I think, I think. Just currently waiting for evening to arrive so I can catch an albicore. So don't think I have problem. Yeah, I'm just catching sardines and herrings. Ah, I'm scratching. Can't get distracted for even a moment while fishing. I would like an L of the core. I think it's that one right there. Or that might be the tuna. That's the tuna. That's the herring. That's the cucumber. That's the red snapper. I think is what it's called. You are correct around the woods room. Yes! Fuck yeah! Raccoons, 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 raccoons. Raccoon family, raccoon family. Oh, I'm so excited. Oh, delightful. Absolutely fucking delightful. As soon as I catch this albacore, run into Marnie's. But I want an albacore now. I do not want no little herring, no sea cucumber, no tuna. I want an albicore. No. No, there's any. Did y'all ever play the game sardines as a kid? Or it's like, one person has to go hide. Or like, you all have to go like try to hide and squish in together, I think what it was. And you're trying to squish in as many people as you can into one hiding space. Uh, and then the seeker has to try to find where all the little sardines are crammed into. That was a very popular game when I was still in the Mormon church. That was one of like, the key games we played when we were out and about.
Gasolines. Still no albicor. Give it to me the fish I desire. The fish I require. Because there's only like one more day to catch them, so. <laughs> that is a hollow book. Albicor. Not in squad, I'll be good. And I... Why is it so hard to catch an albacore? Fishing 10 with an iridium rod and bait. I'm not going to be able to go to Marnie's today. I'm going to have to go to Marnie's tomorrow, I think. So I'm staying here until I catch an albacore. Thank you. Who the fuck wanted it? Bring Gus. Okay, Gus will still be open. Oh, turn this into Gus. Or maybe be able to still run to Marnie's. Go see, go see what I need to do to unlock cute little raccoon friends. You know? Okay, hello, Gus. Alright, Pam, pay your bills. Yes, a new friend. Goodbye. Go see if there's new friends slash how I get new friends. All right, cause yeah, cause there was the, the new tree over here. Uh, if we look, oh, it's not all, it's fell down, go boom. A hundred pieces of hardwood, this could be fixed up. That's so much hardwood. That's so much hardwood. I guess I'm using the last bit of my energy to go get hardwood at the secret forest, and this is what I'm saving up for. Or my next bit of hardwood. I guess the learning events will just have to wait longer. You know? Slime, I have no desire for you. Oh, thank you. Yes, mahogany seeds. I'm gonna plant them. I think I also can make tree fertilizer. Yes, I'm gonna make tree fertilizer. Toss them on these. I hear my puppies outside. How can I tell Abby's in the bar backyard? She is a barking her head off. Goddamn dog. Yes, three more mahogany seeds. Let's fucking go. Oh, it is midnight. Oh, I'm running. I'm running home. I'm gonna try to make the tree fertilizer. Toss it on my hardwood trees and then go to bed. No passing out. I totally have enough time. It's gonna be fine. Hundred percent gonna be fine. Not stressed at all. I'm gonna put one here. I'm gonna put one here. I'm gonna put one. Oh, shit, I did that wrong because I was staggering these. Fuck. Alright, I was staggering these. 
Mm, that one goes here. That one goes here. That one goes here. Perfect. Uh, fiber, that's in the wrong chest. That's fine. Uh, stone. And then I make, uh, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. I think there's eight trees. And then that one goes away. That one goes away. That goes away. Oh, I gotta put the stone back in. I have enough time. I have enough time. I have enough time to do everything I need to. No one can convince me otherwise. Oh, I don't have time. I don't have time to put the fertilizer on, but it's made. You know what? It's made. That's good enough for me. Safe in bed with 40 minutes in game to spare. Look at me go. At noon, the bush, get my plush. Clean the sauce. Cranberry candy. Amazing. Thank you. Hello. Good morning. Bye. I got a mini juki box. Uh, grab those. Put the... Two, three, four. One, two, three, four. Perfect. Out of me, wait. Oh, can't wait till I can just let them outside. Where is my brown chicken? Oh, there it is. Look at that, look at that little soulless gaze. Oh, I got to again. The fucking... I'm just gonna have to go and grab the scythe and bring it down. I'm just gonna have to do it as I'm trying to remember at the start of the day. This is becoming silly. I do not wish to see these. Okay, and I think I can do a complete restock of all these. Yeah. So I'm still good for time. I don't need to rush. This guy, remember, I gotta be there at noon. Oh, and then I should get, I think it's a statue behind the community center. I'll probably grab that real quick. And then I'll need to check the traveling cart, see if by some miracle. There are cabbage seeds and or a truffle. Ooh, fruit bats were very generous today. I'll do those in. Grab all of that. Alright, I have enough time to get over there, I'm pretty sure. I just gotta dump everything off and go. Uh, dump everything off. And go. Run in. Bye, Pam. Bye, Pam.
Alright, I'm gonna- yeah, I'm gonna have more, because it's at noon. I have two hours to spare. What am I so concerned about? I have enough time to go and get the, the other one. So, I think it's right around... behind the community center. It's like I hit something behind the community center. Where is it? Not like oh got it. Ah I can't find it. Here, I'm ready. Excited taking out the bush. All right. Yay! Two to the bush! Is this thing behind the community center? I do not know where it is. Very excellent, very excellent. Alright, I guess I'll just go get more hardwood. I need so much of it. And then, you know, come tomorrow, I'll be clear the farm, make sure everything's good, buy the seeds for the season. Alright, do so you have one of the two items I need? No! But also, hello? The urge to buy another book. The urge to buy another book. And just keep reading the books until I'm level 10 foraging. I got a shirt. We'll see. We'll see if I hit level 10 after chopping all this down. If not, I very much might just buy another book. If I'm being honest. another book. Also, let's try on the new shirt. Ooh, stylish. I still like the blue one better. With my current hat, you know? Alright, hello. I, I desire another foraging book. Thank you.
I am in Spain! <sighs> it's fine. Right, we're gonna place these. That's probably just gonna go into storage. Alright. Marching 10 is very rough. <laughs> very, very rough. I'm gonna move some stuff around in the way you know. I'll go in here. Go sleep. And into year two! How exciting! Game, please don't freeze. Game, I'm begging. Game? Oh. <laughs> Sorry there for a moment. Hello, Kent. All right, sell that. Alright, I gotta haul all the shit. I refuse to also water. Oh gosh, maybe I should have done this yesterday. Just uh, give me like five minutes as I get all the shit done. Ah, oh, grabbing, grabbing the scythe. I am grabbing the fucking, I'm grabbing both of them. Scythe like one, scythe two. They are going into the greenhouse. All right, I'm just, watch out, watch out, bow. Alright, now I can hug to my tent. I think what I'll do when I hit Forge and 10 is I'll upgrade my axe to... Or is there really a reason to upgrade the axe at all past steel? I think the only one that's worth upgrading is the pickaxe actually now that I'm thinking about it. Oh I might upgrade my hoe. Make this part of the in-between seasons easier. I think I might expand the field down a little bit, but that'll be after I replace more with iridium sprinklers. I think it's like right here. Let me just double check. Okay, so this won't be. There we go. checking on uh, already 10 already 10 a.m. and just now checking on the animals help 
Aw, but look at it. our little goth chicken is all grown up. And there is a void egg, so I can get the void mayo. Excellent. Oh, and I need to dig all of this too. Well, I'm only going to plant seeds where my two sprinklers are going to hit, I have just now decided. Yeah, pumpkins! And... I think it's a golden one. Be all fancy. Watch out. Watch out. So it's gonna blah blah blah. Alright, and these can now go in here. I'm just gonna sell all this, even the hay. Wait, you know what? I need... I'm gonna take that gold one actually on a boat with me so I can... Chop down some of the grass and start refilling the silos because they're very, very depleted. I'm just trying to do it in a way that when it like it'll fill back in really quickly. But I'm also kind of wondering if maybe I'll just fill up the silos while clearing all of this. There's also not a lot of debris I'm noticing. Like there's barely, like you'd think there'd be more sticks and stones in amongst all this grass, but nah. Just the odd, odd weeds. Fuck. Also, I've stopped getting hay. I think I've already refilled my silos. Oh. Alright then. Alright, boop all of that down. See what the fruit bats have for me today. And then run to Pierre's. Good lord. shocked at how little debris spawned. Alright, that's nice though. Uh, all of that in. And now, two pierres! And then run back and uh, take care of my barn animals who didn't get to go out. Oh, <laughs> no truffle for me today. All right, let me in. Hello, hello. All right, what do I want to do? One, I should probably do Baldy fertilizer. Eh. Let's see. Maybe I'll just do cauliflower after cauliflower. Yeah, until I can get the strawberry seeds. I think that's uh, what I'm gonna do. I'm not quite sure how many spaces I have, so I'm just gonna buy a lot of seeds. Uh, 
So how much money do I have left? I have enough for the catalog. But no, no, no. I need 100,000 for the next house upgrade. No, no. Don't get distracted. I don't know if I'll be able to hit up the secret forest to get the hardwood today, but I have a good chunk of hardwood trees growing. So, that should help. Somewhat. Alright. Hopefully this is enough. If not, lol. I don't think it's gonna- I don't think it's gonna be enough. <laughs> Oops! I, uh, really underestimated how many- how many fucking squares there are. Alright, is what it is. I'll just do the places I fertilized. Doing otherwise feels silly. Alright, so I got enough seeds, but I didn't get enough fertilizer. That's fine. Six extra seeds. Alright, I have time to go to the secret forest, and I have energy because I'm not. Fuck, fuck watering that. Fuck watering that so hard. Got some row. Ooh, Marnie's area got hit pretty hard with the debris. Especially the weeds. I think I'll just try to get the weeds for now. And then I'll later date I will come through and get all the all the wood, all the stone. I feel like the weeds, the weeds, the weeds spread a little faster uh, since the update. Like, I feel like there will be a tiny little patch I forget about, and in two days it is taking over a chunk. Fuck you. Oh, we'll get to see the spring desert festival. That's exciting. I think it's near the beginning of the month, too. The 6th and 7th or 7th and 8th? Wow, leave me alone you little shit. Stardew Valley Almanac. I have farming experience, so I don't need that. So I will save that. See if I can trade it in at the bookseller. If not, I'll just sell it. I would love if I could get foraging books. Level 10 foraging seems to take five ever. Considering I hit level nine foraging before I hit level nine uh, mining, but I hit level 10 mining first. I don't feel like I was really mining too hard.
gotta put flowers. Sorry. Let me go into the greenhouse and get some random flower seeds. Two, three, four, five, six. All right, grow trees. Uh, right, I put the other book in here, didn't I? No, I put it in here. Okay, put that in there. Uh, I'm just gonna sell these wild seeds. Go plant this. Slowly but surely, I shall have a proper mahogany orchard. All right. So I, tell you, I have enough for the house right now, but I'm a little hesitant to drain all my money. That seems like a very scary thought. I'm very tired to build up this amount, you know? So I might wait until like my first good crop harvest before I do so. Jesus, so much stuff from the coop today. I think I'm still good on mail makers, but if I get any more coop animals, I might have to make a couple more. Okay, that's all just to sell. That is also all just to sell. Oh, I can chop down some trees. Yeah, carrots are really good little boosted energy, so I think I'll save those for my next Skull Mines run. Oh, I need to make some seed makers for in there. Oh, I'm just gonna save gold carrots. And I'll use these to plant more. Give me foraging ten. That's a cool tree. No, no fortune 10. Oh, that's fine, I guess. All right, today is the first day that you get to go outside. Be sure you bring me a truffle, Mr. Pig. Two out of three still. Oh, three out of three. They're gonna be asking for something soon. A single berry. good chunk of just like miscellaneous resources from all the recycling which is nice. I haven't had to smell any, any pork. 
I think I had to smelt just like a tiny bit. Those all have everything. Uh, any garbage go down? One did. We got a one, and a one, and a one two. Just money. All right. Uh, how much harder do I have? I have. Oh, halfway, halfway to being able to have raccoon friends. Yeah, I think I'm gonna go chop the wood. And really, the only other thing I could do is like mine. Go mine. That's like just a fight enemies, get my combat up. I will also grab all these miscellaneous stuff or uh, branches. Any little bit of foraging experience I can get right now. But hopefully, the pig will get me a truffle and then I will just have the red cabbage to do. Nice drops. Can't tell if good luck day because the drops seem good or bad luck day because there's quite a few enemies. <laughs> Never reach foraging ten. Foraging ten? That is a myth. It does not exist. Maybe I'll clear the rest of Marnie's area first today. Oh, and then there's also the bus stop that I can go clear. all this still doesn't give me level 10 foraging it is truly a myth it does not exist it is the only skill you cannot reach level 10 on oh, hello full-size tree for me to cut down trees, any forage. No. Any trees or forage. <gasps> There's a tree! Oh, I can go forage spring onions! Wasn't very many spring onions, okay. Yeah, I'll just focus on doing this every day. Just do foraging runs, cut down every tree I see, harvest everything until I hit 10.
And then it'll be the even more painful trying to get to level 10 combat. Which I'm trying to figure out the best way to do that. And it might just be killing all the enemies, going down to the next level, not wearing, like, not getting any ore, not getting gems. Just murder, next level, murder, next level. But I think maybe the Skull Cavern might be a little better for that. Not trying to, not do a run where I'm trying to go as far as I can, but literally just a monster killing run. But I think the ones in the Skull Cavern on average give more XP than the ones in the other, like the regular mine. Especially those fucking dragons. But I think the only thing I need to bring is some food in case I get my ass kicked. Alright, is that Marnie's area cleared? It is! Well, fine. Oh, we got trouble. We got trouble. Let's fucking go. I'm going to turn that in right now. Before I'm going to make sure I lock all the animals in. Don't want them getting eaten by wild animals. And also, I want to empty my inventory first. Alright, that stuff. Then we go one. And a two. Alright, that's to sell. That is also to sell. I'm just gonna sell those. I'm gonna give that to the dwarf. So yeah, actually I will go up, give this to the dwarf. And I'll go turn in complete. One more thing in the community center. It'll just, just be the fucking purple cabbage. Or red cabbage, whatever it is. Hello, I have a present for you. Alright, actually, what type of recipes do you have? Warp safety manual. Take, sure. I will have that. Thank you. And a new power. What all powers do I have now? Uh, Price Catalog, Monster Compendium, Jack Bean and Bull, Jack Bean Thick, Woody Secret, Dwarvish Safety Manual, The R.O. Crabbin, and Book of Mysteries. Still missing uh, like half, uh, over half of them though. Any bit of foraging. Just give it. It has been so long that I've been trying to reach level 10 foraging that I'm wondering, is it a bug? Is it a glitch? Should I've hit level 10 foraging and it's just not leveling me up for some reason? Questioning reality. Anyways, let's complete another bundle. Bah bam! Thank you, I will take these cakes. And take them to the Skull of Heaven. Ta da! Alright, as. As soon as a couple trees grow, I think I have enough hardwood to repair the raccoon area and start doing that quest line, which is exciting. And I'm so excited. I'm so, so, so fucking excited for the desert festival.
right, I am tired. The bed. At sixty nine. All right, we got on TV. Rerun. Don't want it. Hello, dog. Uh, thanks. I don't know where you found the artifact, but thank you, I guess. Oh, there's so many animals now to get around. Another rabbit's foot! Yes! I'm saving that one because I need it to hand it into the truck. I think I can actually do that now, so I might do it today. <gasps> yes! Mahogany's! Any tree seeds? No. Sad. Alright, that is all for selling. Hello? Oh, I should make an oil maker now that I got a pig actually giving me truffles. Probably two oil makers, because sometimes you can find multiple. So I need oil makers, steam makers. And then eventually someday when I'm not saving up hardwood for other stuff. Compost bins. Or wormy bins, rather. I don't want anything. I'm suspicious of it. Okay. Better than nothing. Need to do a little more pathing around the farm, I'm noticing. Nothing too, too much. I do want to get that done sooner rather than later, just so I don't have to worry about it anymore. See, I want to do it from like the barn area down to Marty's path, and I think like one or two other small path areas. It'll make it easier to start placing the rest of the decoration. Figure out where I want to put things like the slime hutch because I still haven't figured that out. Speaking of- oh, I got so much ore! What am I doing? Why haven't I been smelting this? I'm gonna smelt enough ore to get myself a fucking slime hutch. That is what I'm gonna do. Oh, I have 80. So I'll have 92 after today, after I go to the Marty's Ranch area. Which means the day after, which means tomorrow, I will have enough hardwood to fix that up. Very exciting. All right, I'm gonna go clear everything up here. Doesn't, doesn't seem to be a whole lot. Oh, well, yeah, there's a fair bit. I like that I'm getting coal from the rocks. Oh, 
I should fish the necklace out of here. Pointing. Where's my forging XP? Maybe I should just focus on uh on that. really quick see if there's anything shop <sighs> get a little workbench a wood chipper mini fridge telephone oh furniture catalog so expensive a thousand god damn yeah i don't think there's anything really on five Uh, this necklace, I think it's Caroline's. Where is she? Hello, Caroline. Is this yours? If so, let me return it to you. Get friendship points. Uh, is she up here or in the square? Oh, she is walking that way. Where are you going? Where is she going? Oh, up to the community center, okay. No problem. Can I talk to you? No. Now can I talk to you? No. How many hearts? Four. I want her to show me her greenhouse so I can get the recipe for her tea trees. if I cut trees and down in town, you know? What if I just did like a little... Actually, I should have cut trees and down. Fine. That's not fun. I want to cut them down. Fine, I'll just root through trash. Ah, go fast. Oh shit, I forgot to pick a new one. Why are both having to do with potatoes? Ah, oh, which one do I want to do? I'll do that one. Let me go buy some potatoes. But close on Wednesdays, of course. Okay, uh, okay, get a few potatoes. All batches. Well, that's fine. I will just have to buy potatoes tomorrow. start in the secret forest and then just do a lap to see if there's any trees grown. Can't really do much more than that for trying to get more foraging experience. And yeah, it doesn't like, I feel like I should have hit level 10 by now, you know? 
So I think after I get the last bit of hardwood that I need to start doing the raccoon quest, I think I'm just going to focus more on getting my combat to level 10. If need be, I will just buy a shit ton of bucks to reach foraging 10 because this feels silly. It'll be a little hard to focus just on getting my combat up just because of how like resource intensive a shape might possibly be depends on how often i take damage i think after i get this wood instead of doing a little loop i'm actually gonna build the machines that i need so i'm gonna do the two seed makers and get those done I'll probably need to switch over and put more iridium ore in as well. I do have a lot of mixed seeds. I have a shit ton in the what's my what the greenhouse. So in theory, I don't need to buy potatoes. I could just do a bunch of mixed seeds and hope I get enough potatoes. But I think I'll just buy the fucking potatoes, you know. Oh, right. Wrong way. Bop. Uh, you know what? I will just start filling. I have a lot of holes right now. And mix seeds to the rescue. As I'll well maximize the space, maximize money. There we go. Uh, and the carrots need to go in here as well. Alright. Those. That. That needs to pop up. And go there. Oh, that's the wrong spot. It's fine. It's not fine. Oh, they're so pretty. Excuse me. In. Oh, all right. Get the rest of this, and then I think they'll, I think it's ten iridium bars for the slime hutch. So I think that'll give me everything I need. If I remember, I think I can go do... The rabbit's foot quest. Oh, I saw, I'm gonna go, I'm gonna see if I can go get it done. Oh, hello? Any new ideas to sleep on? No? Fuck. Oh, and I just noticed it's 4.30. I've been streaming for four and a half hours already. Ooh. All right, I think I'm going to go till about five. So one or two more days. Uh, and then I will be hopping off for the evening. <laughs> All right, I think it's up at the Jojo Cola area. Oh, hello? Yes! I am now luckier! Luck is permanently increased. So that just filled in that one. Accent. Oh, I didn't even notice this garbage can up here. I think I said walking back. Let's stop. Oh, I have gone to the quarry in a bit. Should do that.
All right, everyone is locked up, safe and soon. Oh, it's raining. We got lots of stuff ready. I'm not going to worry about buying my slime punch today. I'll do that tomorrow. Alright, I'm sorry. Oh, I forgot to lock them in. Wild animals could have eaten them. Oh, irresponsible. Can I have the yikin egg? I think I love it. Can I have it now? Give it, thank you. Alright, uh, that stuff. We got more carrots. Regular carrot in here. Fuck, forgot to make the, forgot to make the seed makers. If, if I have time for going to the desert, I will get them done. I have to lock everyone up. God damn. Ah. Ah. All right, Mr. Eels. Oh, you got nothing. And y'all still, oh, did you hit three? Oh, they hit three, and they are three. Excellent. So they'll both be demanding something soon. Looks like I'll have a little bit of time, so I should have enough time to make the seed makers and go put them in. Get some stuff going before I run, run, run. And tell Marnie to do her job. Not Marnie. Uh, Pam. I mean, also Marnie, who's never at her fucking counter. You never buy animals from. What do I need for the seed makers? Wood, coal, gold. Done. And I have all of six coal left. Oh no. Uh, time to run there and back so I think I might actually just go go over here and wait wait patiently you know don't see anything okay <sighs> I beg of you foraging Pam hurry up Pam hurry up a faster! Why are you walking so slow? Bus driver is present. I wish for murder. I desire nothing but murder. 
Give it to me! I'm just gonna also collect some emergency coconuts. Cool. Alright, down I go. Uh, actually I should keep... We'll keep the carrots on the hot bar. Also, why do I still have this? Why do I still have that in my inventory? I just realized that. Alright. Hello! Yes! Come fight me! <gasps> what is this? Is it a dragon attack? Oh, this is perfect! I'm about to get so much experience! Dragon attacks suck. Why do I still hear so many? I wonder how much XP each dragon gives. Cool. Uh, faster. Can I find any more enemies I can kill? No, I just gotta mine. Mine my little heart out. Make bomb. Oh, I need more. A second. Ah, oh, still have enough to make bomb. Should have thought this through a little more. Is there anything to make bomb down here? Hello? to end these guys. Is there any... Doesn't look like there's any ore for me to snake to make bombs. Alright, goodbye. Next level. Any enemies I can kill? Yes! Come after me, dragon. Another spicy eel. Love to see it. Oh, I got some slimes. Oh, one of the two secret notes needed. Yes. What's this one? Uh, ah, from Abigail. Oh, that's a magma duo. Oh, that's so much shit. Hello! Prepare to die. Oh, right! The yellow slimes! Oh, so those... I was wondering what was up that yellow slime. Okay, so the yellow slimes are new. Uh, and when you kill them, they give you a random amount of money. That one gave me five hundred dollars. Oh, I can make bomb now. What am I doing? Make bomb. All right. What? Awful. I don't know if this is the most efficient way to actually get my combat up, but I'm getting a lot of like good drops, so. If only I could find stairs. Okay, I'm gonna put the second bomb here. And stairs! Yes! 
I don't want any of you. Oh, there's ghosts. Yes. Give me your Omni Geodes. Yes, Omni Geodes. Oh, can I use this to make another bomb? Let's see, how much I got? Oh, I can make another bomb. Which means if I get all of you, um, come over here. Oh, there's now a dragon attack. And my life is about to be Spain. Y'all throw them down! No, they're about to come back up. No. Got them dragons. Oh, thank you for the bomb though. Appreciate it, homie. Man, two dragon attacks are great for the combat XP. I'm just gonna there we go. Kill them! Got a little tree, a little miner's tree. Delightful. Oh, there's just a lone little slime. Put him out of his misery. Okay. Are you the only enemy? Can I have another dragon attack? That would be great. Did you get up before I exploded? Oh, disappointing. Alright, I'm gonna do that here, see if I can get another stairs. Dragon. Oh, slime. Slimes are also good. No enemies. Okay. Oh, hello. Bam. Bop. I wish you could actually see like a proper progression bar of how close you were. Like it's nice that the indicator was added when you do hit it, so you like you know when you hit it. But I still wish I could go like here. And see just how close I was actually to nine. Just how, you know, or how close I was to ten. Where are my stairs? There we go. Give me another dragon attack. Not just a single one, a whole attack. Everything there is, just so many bugs, my lord. <gasps> oh, yep. Uh, only four levels, that's not too bad. Any ghosts, any dragons, any slimes. No enemies at all. And you know what? It's getting kind of late, so I think it's time for me to leave. I'm doing some sorting. Oh, Jesus, my inventory is full. Okay. That's, that goes here. I think that's good for now. I keep hoping, like, with everyone, that's like, that's gonna be the one that tips me over, you know? I get this tree. Oh, inventory full. Alright, back to home. 
I'm going to do one more day and I'll be done for the evening. Oh. And then next stream will basically, it'll be like one or two days and then it'll be the new festival, which is exciting. And then we'll have seen or play through like a decent chunk of the new content. I'm excited to see if there's anything new on the island. Like on Ginger Island. Alright, okay, so that needs to go here, that needs to go in there, and that needs to go there. I'm also excited. Oh, how much? Oh, did I do the secret forest today? Or did I just go into the mines? Was I silly and I just went into the mines? Now I gotta double check. Now I gotta double check. Because if I didn't do the secret forest, I have enough. I, ha I have enough. I don't want nothing more than raccoon friends. Alright, did I already get vlogs? <gasps> I didn't! Quick, gather all the hardwood. Hello? Assassin. All right, get through the last of this hardwood. Yes, the last little bit of hardwood needed. I'm not gonna worry about the other tree, the other two stumps I can get. I'm just going to run and get this done before I collapse. Yes, raccoons! Raccoons! Yes! Oh, it's so cute! Oh, it's so cute! Oh, I can't wait till the raccoon moves in. Actually, I think with that, that will be my last day. I just toss the seed down. this stuff away yeah I'll be back on Tuesday at 6 p.m. Mountain Standard Time with some more star dupe hopefully completing the community center making more progress on our raccoon friend quests and continue to explore and play the new content thank you for everyone who chilled with me and chatted I super duper appreciate it and I will see y'all on Tuesday Bye. <laughs>